Hello and welcome, more gamers, to our Age of Sigmar battle report for today. You have Luca and Skari here hosting this one. It will be against the Blades of Corn and the Heed Knights of Slanesh. Mortal enemies, both literally and spiritually. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Age of Sigmar battle report. The Blades of Kehorn today. I'm trying to play my uh, third edition list, or a variation of it. Essentially, a lot of MSU. That is, multiple small units to really utilize the Blood Tithe mechanic, which obviously, and gladly, they still have. My formation of choice will be a simple one, but yet a good one. The Bloodbound War Horde. Uh, it is, it's a mortal list. That's what, that's what you're trying to go for here. They have a rule called Tireless Conquerors, where they get plus one to hit for combat attacks against enemies that are on objectives you do not control. However, that's only relevant for Bloodbound units. Luckily, everything is Bloodbound in this list. My first regiment will include this Lord of Corn on Juggernaut. He'll be today's general, and he is gonna be a firebrand. He is wizened in the ways of the priests of Corn, So he'll also get priest level one and well, you're just being able to interact with the manifestations and, you know, the priestly prayers and all that stuff. That's It's a great, 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 great enhancement. Only available to demons previously. Now mortals can take it as well. He is going to have the Collar of Contempt as an artifact of power. Let me tell you, the other options were very difficult to choose between. I essentially just randomized this one because I liked all three of them quite a bit. This will allow him to dispel or unbind magic as if he was a wizard, and if he does so, well, don't they take D3 mortal damage. The rest of the regiment will include one blood secretor that does very much the same things that did last edition. I mean, not identical, but like mechanically the same. Maybe a different way of getting there. We have two units of mighty skull crushers as well. Not one unit of six, but two units of three. My second regiment will have a slaughter priest being joined by a blood reaver, blood warrior, and a single wrathmonger unit back here. My third and final regiment will include a third priest, a Realm Gore Ritualist, joined by two Blood Reaver units, one Wrathmonger unit, and that there is my list for today. Of course, we have the Manifestation lore for Corn. We have his Blessings of Corn, the Hexgorger Skulls, the Bleeding Icon, and the Wrathforged Axe. And we have ourselves a Skull Icon. Sorry, Skull Altar of Corn. Let's go take a look at the Heat Knights of Slanesh. Glory to the Dark Prince! No skulls, just <laughs> excess. Sure, sure, sure. Lurid dreams. Of course. <laughs> you know, we all have skulls. That's right, that we is care. true. Um, so, I've decided to bring a bunch of Heat Knight stuff that I used in the last edition to see how it works in this edition. That's like the theme of this list. Uh, we start with my General's Regiment, who will be Glutos. He's running with a unit of fiends a unit of Slick Blade Seekers, and a unit of Twin Souls as well. So that's gonna be my first regiment. My second regiment is built around Sil-esque, which is essentially an amalgamation of demon and mortal. Um, and that regiment has the five Painbringers and the 10 Blissbarb Archers with their little uh, token homunculus, which is kinda cool. And the last regiment, of course, need to do some demonic stuff, so I brought a Keeper of Secrets and 10 demon nets. As for sort of like battle formations and whatnot, I'm gonna be using the Seeker Cavalcade, which means that uh, my cavalry unit can retreat and still charge, and I can definitely, and I don't take mortal damage when I retreat with cavalry units. Um, I am using my basic spell lore, which is the lore of depravity, I believe, that, sorry, lore of extravagance, and for man my manifestation lore, I'm running the manifestations of depravity. So I've got a mirror, the, ex the wheels of excruciation, and the dreadful visage. Now my Keeper of Secrets does have a, has a heroic trait as well. So I will be uh, giving it into the fray. So if it rolled an eight plus on its charge, it'll have the strike first ability. And the artifact of power will be the Pendant of Slanesh, which will allow the demon to heal three if it took any damage that turn. Today we play Battle for the Past from back in 2017. I do remember this one. Played this one a lot, actually. Anyways, four objectives here. One in entirely in each player's territory, and then you have two additional ones just bordering them. The deployments are a little odd on this one, so instead of it being fully across a hammer and anvil style deployment along the short table edges, you have uh, boxes of uh, nowhere to deploy. 
which I suppose is a subtle difference compared to the old one. Now, for scoring victory points, you're going to get one if you control the objective wholly in your own territory. It's easy. You're going to start by doing that one. And then you get two for each one that borders your territory, and then five if you're able to take the one away from your opponent in their territory. Now, there is a twist here where you can actually only score up to six victory points a turn from the objective. So if you're able to get, like, all ten, you can only get six. You get four uh, if you complete your battle tactic as well. So you kind of have to like strategically plan how many victory points you're going to try and go for and don't like overexert yourself trying to get more than what you need. And then the underdog bonus will give you the ability to add two to the control score of friendly non-hero units. It's just across the board. If you're the underdog, all your things get two to their control scores, which is kind of crazy. Scary and I are ready to start deploying, but before I do that, I want to show the train layout. We're just using the one recommended on the board. We've got a couple places of power here and there, uh, obscuring terrain, here and there, also area terrain, and then uh, obstacle terrain uh, for there, a lot of more medium sized ones, then we've got smaller ones flanking them over there. Definitely curious uh, what people think about like the new deployment layouts and the, the terrain layouts. Always like to hear people's opinions and stuff. What's really cool because in the General's Handbook, I like that they give you a guideline of where to put terrain. Yeah, it's exactly. Neat, you know? It just tells you where to, no like, arguing, yeah. Technically, the attacker is supposed to put the terrain down, then the defender picks their territory. Or the defender puts the terrain down, attacker picks their territory. So even though the terrain might not be exactly symmetrical, it gives that sort of like pick sides a right, bit of, yeah, uh, that's, little bit of uh, weight to it. Yeah, because that's like the general core rule for it where like, you know, the defender kind of lays out the table, the attacker picks a so side. So it kind of gives you like a guideline, hey, put them in this sort of yeah. area. If you're picking your side, you can be like, oh, I like this piece of terrain better or that piece of terrain. Right, kinda, exactly. You yeah. know, kind of shift it. And it means that you don't have to make them absolutely symmetrical. You can kind of switch it up a little bit, have Correct. like different yep. styles of pieces. Yep. But I really like what the Forge has done, the Mini Wargaming Forge, with these terrain sets. They are so versatile yeah, for this game. Yeah, these are all from Mini Wargaming Forge. This is our terrain here. If you want to go check it out, they offer sets. Uh, I mean, as, as I'm recording this, it should be available, but they offer sets of match play terrain. Like, if you want, like, every available piece of terrain for any match play game, that's a set you can In the buy. right dimensions, too, which is Correct. Nice. That's the idea, yeah. yeah. You can yeah. buy half sets, quarter sets, or just individual pieces. That's yeah. all. They're all options. And you can just buy the STLs if you're uh, handy at printing yourself and you have the, the tools available for that. But otherwise, we're going to roll off to uh, see who is going to pick a side and where they have to deploy. A boom. Oh no, six. Luca, you already started. Oh, oh that's nice. right. I will raise six. you a six. Bam. And I will. One, two. Yeah. There it is. Nice. I will uh, start deploying first. You want to pick a side and deploy first? Well, because I have yeah. three regiments to your three regiments. Yeah. So I want to be finished first. And so I can dictate like, who goes, dictate first. Who goes yeah. first. I get that. I should yeah. also give a shout out. This is one of GameMat.eu's newer maps, specifically made for Sigmar, as you could tell, with the uh, the cross pattern lines and the the numbered inches along the long board edge and the short board edge. It helps you like figure out like, you know, if I want to be wholly within six of this board edge, boom, there's the line right there to figure out wholly within six. And the same is true for the other way as well. Yep. It makes deploying easy. Especially with the little squares, because now we know where our territories are. We know exactly are. We where can, our territories awesome. are and everything. And I'm, the I'm nine inches away from this line. You're yep. nine inches away from that line. The objectives meet up on the intersecting yep. parts. It's you know, It makes setting up the game. Very a lot fast. easier. Yeah, now, exactly. of course, we get to put our terrain pieces down. Oh, yeah, we got to do that first. You do yours, yep. then I do mine, and yep. then we just deploy our armies. That's right. So we'll be back. Deployment complete. We have my skull altar over here. More than I could have put it up a little bit further over here, but I was be a little. I don't want it to die. You know, they can kind of die easily now. Yep. And your fane is over there. Right here. For my deployments, I had to deploy first with my three regiments. I kept my uh, my character, my warlord, and his regiment down till last. We have my skull crushers, Lord of Corn, Wrathmongers, Blood Reavers, and my slaughter priest, who is going to probably try to. He will ascend to the throne for now. Yep. And then we have a bunch of models over here. Skull crushers in the back, but we got mighty. Uh, sorry, Wrathmongers. Blood Secrator, Reavers, Reavers, and then a Realm Gore Ritualist and Blood Warriors there. The Blood Warriors are going to try and eat the brunt of it. They're like, they're heavily armored shock troops yep. in, 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 in like the, uh, These the guys? build. Yes. Yeah, nice. yeah they, they just run up and keep scrapping. And yep. they're going to die at some point, but like whatever. Well, that's kind of, that's a blood type point. That's their thing, right? That's yeah, a blood type correct. Point. The idea of this list is to just die and gain as many blood type points as possible while causing as much calamity as possible as well. What do we got for your deployment? Well, I've got my demonets in the back corner. Uh, because because the deployment zone of the territory kind of gets squeezed in here, I wasn't able to put my big keeper close to the place of power. 
right. which was really interesting. I guess I could have put Celeste back there, but uh, the Bliss Barb Archers, I'm going to try and take use of the shooting in your turn, like uh, like as a, yeah, you know what I mean? Like I'm going to try and do yeah. that as well, which will be kind of handy. I've got my Painbringers and Glutose. Uh, sorry, my Twin Souls and Glutose. I've got Celeste there, some Fiends ready to kind of jump in and hopefully make things fight last. You don't have any wizards, so like their anti wizard stuff is kind of useless. Oh, yeah. The slick blades are back here. Uh, they are very fast, so I don't need to commit them to the table like at all. And then, of course, the pain bringers, maybe to just get in the way and be a little thing. Now, of course, with the season of war, though, we get our, um, oh, our yeah. honor guard. Our deployment abilities. Yes. So I am going to be picking the uh, twin souls as my honor guard for bodyguard. So um, if they're even less reason to attack Lutos. <laughs> Yeah, 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 exactly. So as yeah. long as you're within <laughs> combat range, anything that's in combat range, my general is minus one attack. Yeah. As long as they're wholly within six inches of him and they haven't charged. Right. Which then pairs with their ability that if you're in, in engagement range of them, you're minus one attack as long as they haven't charged either. Correct. So yeah. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to. I will be fighting. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We yes. will avoid that. <laughs> my, uh, my honor guard for the general, which is going to be these mighty skull crushers, special assignment. And uh, when they charge, they're going to have anti infantry plus one rend. This is a tough call because there's like, there's, they're very lightly armored. On yeah, the side like I don't really like have. I've got like my ward yeah. save with most stuff, which is just better than my save in general. But if this is mostly just, we're across from the. Not the Myrmidesh Painbringers. Oh, they are the Painbringers. The Painbringers, Celeska's infantry, and that's kind of it. Celeska, the, the yeah. Painbringers do have a three-up save, so that is quite good. For It'll them. help try and go through them. And I, I actually, I'm going to try my best to avoid Blutos as a war machine as much as I can. I am yeah. going to try and make sure you have to deal with yeah. Blutos as much as possible. Naturally, as you should do. Of, of course. He wants to get stuck in and have a feast, a feast of goodness. Now, <laughs> you get to dictate. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Here. Yummy. You can go first. All right. Fair. Come at me, bro. Easy, easy yeah. enough. It will be be turn one for the blades of corn and i will have to figure out which battle tactic i want to do but i already have an idea what i'm going to go for you got an ability at the start of the battle round you don't have any start of battle round stuff nah, so nah. mine is of course excess of depravity so i pick one to three units in my army to gain basically crit two hits so they get extra hits which is nice on crits and uh, they can run and still uh, charge Right. Which is really good. They're euphoric. But for each one I pick, you get a dice, a depravity dice, to use as a six for anything, pretty much. So you get little two little tokens there. I picked my keeper, and I picked Glutos. Right. Uh, with an at-the-double, Glutos could go up to 14 inches and then still charge, which makes him super fast. And then the keeper moves up to 18 inches and can still charge. Absolutely. So I think it'll be a good, yeah. you know... Just do your thing, kind of. Yeah, thing. yeah. It just forces forces you to keep, uh, you know, understand that I'm probably I can just run right at you. Sounds like things are gonna die, dude. That's fine. <laughs> so, That's the goal. Let's go. Let's do this. Everything in this. The nice thing about this list is nothing's too important. There's a couple important pieces, but if they die, they die, right? That's mm -hmm. the idea. Nothing is really here to hold down the fort. Uh, yeah, we got our two things here, and if I choose to use them, I have to roll a d3, and if I roll a one on the d3, uh, it's a. Di I think it's a just a d6. Oh, a d6. Okay. Yeah. So if I go to use my temptation dice, uh, I still have to roll it. It could. It's no matter what can count as a six, but if I roll a one or a two, I take. D3 mortal damage? For each dice you use. Because you gotcha. can substitute both of those dice into a 12-inch like charge. charge. Yeah, that's kind of so, cool. Yeah, but it does mean you could take some extra damage. Hmm. On to my uh, hero phase. i got to pick a battle tactic, actually. That's going to be take their... Not take their land, sorry. Seize the sender for now. It's a little risky because of counter charge and redeploy, but it eats up a lot of command points, so yep. hopefully it doesn't uh, stifle it too, too, too much. I just got to get two units within three of this point here, which is no problem. Very no problem. Uh, putting a marker on them just to remember that they're the uh, anti-infantry when they charge. And we're going to go to the hero phase. We're going to have uh, the skull altar as a rule called ascend the throne or ascend the altar. Uh, I pick a priest within three. That's infantry. And he that's climbs up. That's in the hero up. phase? Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, it's a hero nice. phase thing. So he goes up the stairs. He goes on to the altar. Oh, he's starting to pray. And then he gains several bonuses. Becomes like an invoker as like a keyword rule re relevant to the skull altar. He gets plus one to his chanting rolls. And then he can't use move abilities anymore. The only thing he can do is descend the throne. If I want to get him off there later, he just gets set, uh, set up nearby. It. Measure all the ranges to and from the altar, like he kind of would before. Uh, the altar's got 10 health with a 4-up save. Now, 
you can't target him with any attacks. You have to kill the altar first. And if the altar is destroyed, it's removed. He's placed down nearby, and then he takes D3 mold damage. Uh, that's essentially it. The altar, sorry, the other thing is if the altar has an invoker in it, anytime one of my Blades of Corn units are targeted by a spell ability as a reaction, I can roll the die on a five up, the spell is ignored, and I gain a blood tithe point. It's the scorn of sorcery ability that I had before. I like it. But it's only within 18 of that. Considering I've, I've got one, two, three, four, five levels of sorcery in this list. Yeah. It could be very, hopefully very relevant. It's yeah. not going to extend very far. It's like up to here. I could have put it in the middle, but I was a little afraid of it being like hit Eaten very by hard. A, yeah. by a, a keeper of secrets. <laughs> a something. keeper of secrets. Now, yeah. granted, I didn't know where his units were, but I figured putting it on a flank is a little bit safer. I mean, we'll see in the future how that goes. Yeah. Regardless, uh, we are going to go ahead and do some prayers to corn. We're going to start with our... Uh, Slaughter Priest, actually. He is going to do Blood Sacrifice on turn one. It's a built-in prayer that they have on their data sheet. It's not one of the prayer lores. I almost immediately screwed up. It's actually not a prayer anymore. It's just an ability they have in the hero phase. It's okay, called nice. Blood Sacrifice. I pick a unit uh, within three. I'm going to pick the... Ooh, I could do... It doesn't really matter. I'll pick the Blood Reavers there. I roll a D3. And then on a three plus, yep. uh, they take that much mortal damage. So they're going to take two mortal damage. Bop, bop. Oh, that one with each? Yeah, there's one we need, okay. and I gain a blood tithe point, oh, nice. just like before. But only only the slaughter priest can do that. Still, it's not like one of the lore abilities. And you can do it while he's inside of his cool thing. Correct. Nice. And he, uh, but you can only do that once per army, so you can't have like three slaughter priests. All oh, do blood it's sacrifice. only once. Okay. You, it was only once before too, because it was like a, an enhancement you had to pick. Yeah. But yeah, they just kind of kept it the same. I accidentally killed my champion. I'm just gonna cheat and swap out models and put the champion back in the front. Kind of going over the prayer lore. Uh, some of those are really funny. Which pain curse is gonna come up a lot? I think this game. But no that, way! It is, is so good. Be <laughs> like, no wizard, no. <laughs> you just pick a wizard within 18 inches. They lose a wizard level down to a minimum zero, and then if you rolled high enough on the prayer or you had enough ritual points, they take uh, three mortal damage. That's crazy. Does it uh, last until the next turn? Uh, I think it's yeah until okay, my it's next turn. Permanent. No, it's not permanent. Good. No, no. I'm gonna start trying to conjure some manifestation. They all need four ritual points. He gets plus one to his roll. So we're going to try and conjure the bleeding icon, I guess. Can you just, do you have to pick one to try and do? You're supposed to pick a prayer okay. to commit to, and then you roll yeah. your ritual. And then you can either put the points into the pool yeah. or do it. Or just store them up, Interesting. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to just roll, see what I get. I get plus one. I got a five. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll, it's four to cast. I'll just, I'll go for it. Some of the bleeding icon there, holy within 12. It uh, Enemy units within eight that receive commands. I roll two dice on an eight up. That command does not work. It's like they're so hazed in frenzy that they just don't listen Correct. to the command. They don't commanders. listen to the command. The, command, cool, the command point is spent and accounts is being used, so you can't use it again somewhere That's like, else. That's you know, like around average. That's really, it's not too far off. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. I love it. Uh, he's not super durable, but and it gives you something to ping pong off to, and you can just banish it, but whatever, it's here now. My Lord of Corn. Are they Corn. all level ones? You just have a bunch of level one priests. I got three level one priests, okay. yeah. With Firebrand, he becomes level one priest. He is going to chant for the Hex Gorger Skulls. I get a two. I'm just going to store up two ritual points on him. Okay. He'll go up to two ritual points. And then my Realm Gore Ritualist over here is going to try and conjure the the axe. Why not? The Wrath Axe. Also on a four. Uh, I got a one. Uh, I think something. I lose D3 ritual points. And you but take I don't damage? have damage. I, get, I can't remember if I do or not. On a one, it kind of fails, and yeah. uh, you're spurned by the god a little bit, and you lose D3 if you start up ritual points. Otherwise, nothing too bad happens. I'm going to issue the rally command to these Blood Reavers now, who took damage from the... He's a little too far oh, away. Have to be holy holy within, within 12, 12 yeah. Okay. Uh, so every four up, I will get to bring back one of the Blood Reavers as they gladly die for corn. Two come back. You can use it to cheat movement a little bit. Not much. <laughs> you gain, like, whatever a base is in size and... Uh, I guess they both are going to have to do this, technically. There we yeah, go. That's more nice accurate. Close, yeah. And then uh, that's kind of it for my hero phase. I'm just going to double check and go on to the movement phase. But the goal is to get near the middle. Uh, i got nothing else, but Skari does I want am. to magically intervene. I am going to do a magical intervention. I'm going to try and bring in my dreadful visage. All right, fair. And I will be doing it with my Keeper of Secrets. Keeper of Secrets. I need a seven. Oh, a miscast. I'm just going to take some damage. <laughs> I believe it's just D3 moral damage. Yep. Three so mortal three. damage. Fine, so fine. Spent a command point fine. to take damage. That's okay. The Slanesh giveth and taketh away here. This game. Poor there Keeper. Poor three Keeper damage. takes three little Ooh. damage. Little blood, little blood to drop there. Yeah. The, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Me and Scarry both have four command points. None of us are playing with auxiliary units. Still haven't tried to play with any auxiliary units. 
maybe in the future I will. And then uh, neither one of us are, yeah, that's it. We're just four each. Did for you, well, I was going to try and bring that visage in. Yep. It has a cool little thing where it has a combat ability. If uh, you, like, if you're in combat with it, it rolls six dice and you take mortal damage on fours. If it kills any models, your unit strikes last. So I was oh. hoping to have it close by to like some combat-y stuff in case you wanted to get too aggressive. I get that. But, um... <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. The, the <laughs> game is fickle. Uh, so yeah, going to the movement phase, I am going to run the Reavers out front. Just gonna run, do a run roll. They yep. move, I think they still move six. I have to double check. They only go five inches. They lost the movement. That's okay. Probably just keeping them in line with the rest of the stuff. Where Most, do you want them? Where do you want them? Kind of right near the middle there. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna end up moving there, leaving this spot open to get another model there within three with the other Reaver squad who are gonna add the double. I don't wanna risk it. Uh, and then I got one Reaver towing the objective over there, just hanging out nice. on that spot. We're gonna use another command point. We're gonna go down to two. We're gonna add the double with this Reaver squad. Uh, I guess I'll move the Wrathmongers first. Actually, I'll move other things first so that the Reavers can just move straight. Well, we're back. So the Blood Warriors just ran to the edge of the woods. I want them to be benefiting from the cover to a degree if they get engaged. The Rumgor Ritualist went right behind them. And then the Wrathmongers ran up to the side and our Mighty Skull Crusher stayed behind the woods as well. And then now we finally had the room to at the double and go down to do command points to have this one model and that model within three in the middle there, which is... So you just have a bunch of guys in the middle. It's got a lot of dudes in the middle, but that's two units within three in the middle. It's not bad. Now, they have to be unengaged at the end of my turn uh, if... Yeah, but if you're I'm so secure, far yeah. away, it'd be very unlikely for me to counter charge that into, you know, so it we'll see. It is true. We'll see uh, what happens. The only other thing I'm going to do is the Realm Gore Ritualist still has her Blood Mark Rune ability. You pick an objective or you pick a terrain feature uh, that is in combat range of the Ritualist and she carves Blood Runes of Corn into it and then it permeates a wholly within 12 inch aura of plus one to hit. So we're going to mark the woods. Oh. Gonna carve, we're going to carve Runes of Corn into the woods here. So that they it's very just, angry wood. Yeah, it's not great. There's like one on that tree. There's one on the trees. They're all around. It's gonna be nasty. Corn was here. Corn was here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a couple of other moves. Or a little over heart. Here. A little heart with like corn loves ritualist. Corn. <laughs> Corn plus ritualist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's do. Let's do the reavers are gonna run. I'm gonna go ten inches. They're gonna hang out on this objective, and then we're gonna move up the guys behind it. So we're moving on to the objective, getting our wrath a little bit further up, and then we just ran our mighty skull crushers and the lord of corn just up the flank, and he's just gonna go on the objective as well. And then that's it for my movement phase abilities. I marked the wood. Now Scarry's just kind of pondering if he wants to. I'm just pondering some ranges and stuff yep. here to see if I want to do anything. I could do a redeploy and then a counter charge. Um, no, the is... only suspicious thing about that in the middle here is this guy could screw it up if you get within eight of it. But after the redeploy? It's after the, if you're within eight when you counter charge, because it's a command ability. To right, right, right. So if yeah. I would have moved him, I'm And stay outside eight, of eight, eight of yeah. this, yeah, yeah. No, I'd probably, I'd probably redeploy over one there. of these units yeah, yeah, over yeah. here just to kind of get up there, because you did run, they also ran, right? So you just, like, you can't charge off. I'm not, I got no charging. And no. you I'd, could, you could surge, but that would happen right now. I would have to surge, point. I would have to surge before you redeploy, and I'm not, I'm You're not, not going to surge, so now surging. I can use yes. my abilities as well. So there's two things I'm considering. One is, like, running demonets up and, like, Charging, correct. Like a counter charge, which would be a three CP play, or uh, getting my uh, my um, keeper. keeper closer. But I have to just give me a minute. I want to see what the range on our spell as well. Right. What's the plan? Okay, so I will be spending a command point to redeploy. What I'm going to here? redeploy my keeper. Ooh. If I roll a six, I can contest the objective to make sure that you don't control it. I got one control points. on it, that's it, yeah. Correct, and at the same time, the biggest thing is I think I am gonna go for the counter charge play because then she does have a bunch of spells that she could use. Right. And it yeah. gives me a better spot to cast some of these spells, even though they're close to your stuff or whatever. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Okay, so she's gonna run up. Four, Four inches. So okay. not enough to contest the objective. Not bad. Um, however, she is just going to move up close. Uh, you know what? She'll get within three inches of this as well, I'll just that. in yep. case. Um, and that is about it. 
So we'll go to my shooting phase, where I don't think I actually have anything, but I'm just gonna give it a good old double check, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't think so, not didn't surprised. Think not so. disappointed either, so. Nice, there you uh, go. Did you wanna do your, I, I can't remember what it's called, you can shoot with yours if you have range on your bliss bar. Uh, that would be one CP. Yeah, so it's oh, like, and you can't counter charge it. You know, then I wouldn't be able to counter charge. I think disrupting four points on your score yes. would actually be quite good. It'd be quite so good. So I am gonna go ahead and try that. All right. So I think I will, because now in the charge phase, you don't charge me, I'm, I'm gonna give up any command points that I have for next yeah. turn. Yeah, sorry, we're on the charge phase now, everyone. Yeah. I have no charge phase abilities I would like to do, so we're gonna yeah. go right to Scarry's charge I phase. I will counter charge. Yes. There's no ability for you to charge me. I have no idea what I what I would need or anything. Ooh, an eight's or probably an eight. good. I certainly. It is exactly enough to get it. So, so close. Now, if I was within 12 of a Glutose, I would have gone plus one to charges anyway. Oh, yeah, would be really handy. Yeah. I am gonna stay outside of three inches, though, of the secondary unit. Oh, absolutely. But I do get to pile Ooh. in as well. Yes. And if I kill enough, like, you can just You have to kill stay. all 10. Correct, yeah, I'd yeah. have to kill all 10. To stop I the am, I am spicy. Yes. I am gonna make sure that I stay within six. I'm gonna pile in to get as many things within six as possible, but stay out. Oh, but then you could blood surge into me in On your turn. turn. Yes, that's after your move phase abilities. So I have to move. Okay, so I can do yeah. hero phase stuff first and things. Correct. So I'm gonna just stay outside of three, so I don't like, you know. And like re redeploy and counter charge, albeit not super guaranteed, it's a great way to try and prevent the uh, turn. But this is on, I got a little greedy because I wanted to tag that objective without committing the Blood Warriors. So that's, you know, it's what I get, right? What, how many points is that unit? Of uh, Blood Warriors? No, no, these little guys. 100. Oh, okay. So yeah. they're like a cheap. I don't care if they die. Yeah. Yeah. They're, 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 I pay, and you I get blood tithe points correct. as well. So, yeah, I pay 100, 100 points for blood tithe points. So you're basically, though. and you could like stop spells and stuff with that too. So yeah. Let's see what this keeper does. So the yep. keeper. Um, did roll an eight, so you fight last now. A modified eight, that's true. Sure. That, yep. <laughs> that's actually very, very relevant because I would have actually been able to hit you first. Because it's your turn? Because it's my turn. I do my fight phase abilities ah, first. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to Dark Temptations you with my once per turn combat I'm, phase ability. I assume I can't decline it. Uh, yep, it's just I pick an enemy unit in combat, I pick one of the effects, so I can either make your unit plus one to hit, I can make your unit get plus one to save rolls or make your unit heal if they're wounded, D3. Right. Um, and then my Great Blade gets plus one damage. So I make you better somehow, but then I get better. <laughs> right. Now the unfortunate thing for me is I don't, it's not really much of a temptation if I can, I don't have the option to decline it. So That's I right. have to accept one yes, of them. You and you choose, you choose which one, right? Yeah. Correct, which so is actually kind of cool. We're gonna go plus one save on them. Oh, I guess I could all out defense them to try and keep some of them alive. You could. I will. Nice. I am going to all out defense there just to go. try to mitigate some of the damage here. I need one Reaver to live. Uh, I'll get four been good. points. So I do get six attacks with my Elegant Great Blade. And. Which is rent two. So it is rent two. So I'm it is now damage three. Yeah. And because it is, uh, I am euphoric, I am crit hits two. Yeah. So sixes are two hits, hitting on twos. Oh. Okay. Three okay. misses. That's Not pretty bad. good for me. And then wounding on threes. So I beat two at AP at Ren 2. So we're at four up save because of your temptation yep. and all the defense. Goes so I need sixes. sixes, not making one. So that'd be six damage in total. So far, I assume there's more attacks. Yes, I do have two impaling claws. Now these hit on threes though, uh, and that will give me an additional hit. I need you to not kill me here. <laughs> I'm needing threes to wound. These are also Ren 2. That'd be two, but these are four damage each. I gotta pass double six. Double nope, six. not quite. Not quite. So they are, that's 12-ish damage or maybe well, 14 damage. You could use, I guess, a temptation dice. I would have had to pass both. Uh, oh, I could use both. Let, let, no, you can you only use one save roll. So if it would only been one save, you could have used a six and then tried. It's oh. only on a charge roll, I think you get to do okay. double. Just enough, yeah. Just, just the, enough. The temptation die, I could pass a six, but I would still take four damage and lose all 10 of my models. Uh, which is, I mean, that's the gamble I took. You should always like, you know, let your opponent know, redeploy, counter charge. It's a yeah. risky move, but if you get high enough and, you know, Scar, you got a four and then an eight. And so. then maybe you strike last. And, and you maybe strike yeah, last so and everything, thanks right? To her There's, cool yeah. little ability. It actually all worked out perfectly for you yeah. there. So I'll get a blood tithe point. They're all dead. I'll keep my temptation dice. I guess I get them for the battle round. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. yeah. So okay. you get a, so you go up to two temptation dice now. Yep. And that is going to be a failed battle tactic and a nasty, nasty start for the Blades of Corn. Uh, that's going to be good. At the end of the turn, though, her pendant to Slanesh gives her three wounds back because uh, she was wounded this turn. It just all worked out perfectly. <laughs> was she wounded this turn? Yeah. She was. 
when she oh, when yeah, she did that the spell. was this turn. Yeah. yeah. No, you did that on my turn. That yeah, is my still. This is the oh, turn. so much. Of, <laughs> it's so much of your stuff worked out really well there yeah. on my turn. Yeah. I forgot about all that. Well, this is rough. You're gonna gain control of that objective. I'm gonna gain control of this objective. I'm yep. gonna gain three victory points, and that's it. Well, on the bright side, that'll give me underdog bonuses for the next battle round, unless you somehow do worse than three. Or orchestrate it to keep yeah. it close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, otherwise, that is all she wrote. I'm at two blood tithe points, and we're going to go to turn one for the Heed Knights. I should probably show you how I'm going to keep track of things. Here's my little temptation dice down here. Uh, I got three points in the first round, and then that's two, three, four, five in the battle rounds. I'll be player one. Scar will be player two. I got one command point left. Scar used all four of his already. And that's just my blood tithe up there. I'll be showing you this at the end of every player turn, just so you have an idea of what the score looks like. My battle tactic will be an offering of carnage. <laughs> Ironic, because you're corn and I am Slanesh. Uh, yeah, uh, quite. An yeah. excess of carnage, I think, would be very Slanesh y. So or the perfect carnage. The perfect carnage? The perfect you carnage. Go. You gotta kill two things this turn. I That's do. it. Just kill two, two of my units. Two things. My list is kind of tailored to help you out with that a little bit. <laughs> Considering you just want your blood I just want my things to die, right? So I got Fine, a bunch of Fine, I'll get my points, you get your blood ties. It'll exactly. Be, it'll be, we'll have fun all around. Now, what do you want to do for praying? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and so start the battle round. Uh, Gluto is going to take D3 damage. He cannot take wards against this. So okay. he takes three damage. Um, but that does mean that he will get plus one to advance and run and charge rolls. He also has an aura of plus one run and charge. So okay. he's getting plus two runs, That's not plus bad. two to charge. That's not bad. Considering he's euphoric and he can run and charge, yeah. I'm really hoping that he can get aggressive and be involved. I'm going to go ahead and pray to the conduit of power right. as well to make sure I get plus one to my chanting rolls. Yeah, place of power. Um, I think it's... That's D3 mortal damage on a... Yeah, roll a D3. On a three up, you get plus one to cast in prayer. On a one, you take D3 mortal damage. Minus a D6 roll, not a D3 roll. So on a two up, you get the bonuses. On a one, you take D3 mortal damage. Okay. Uh, now, can I stop this somehow? Uh, you can try and banish it by giving up a... Uh, a casting, a casting role, casting role? Well, yeah, essentially. Okay, yep. Perfect. And um, its banishment is seven plus, I believe. I'm gonna try the cacophonic, 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 cacophonic choir. It's a weird word. Yeah. <laughs> so it needs a six. So plus one needs a five. Oh, oh miss not go fails. Okay. All right, nothing there. Well, nothing bad happens to you from corn either. So no. that's nice. I'm gonna cast the mesmerizing mirror with a plus one. Ooh. That goes off on an eleven. Interesting. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna let you have that one and cast it over here. I think it's not super bad for now, and I don't want to waste my blood tithe points just trying to get rid of that. I only have two unbinds. It's on my Lord of Corn and this altar down here. Yep. To the wheels of excruciation. Apparently. I'll do it from Glutos. I don't want to do. It. Yeah, I'll do it from Glutos. Why not? Hurrah! It goes off. On a nine. What does that do? Oh, it's the actual manifestation. Yeah, it's a manifestation. And stop that. I'll use the collar of corn, I believe it's called. The collar of contempt. And you roll, not that. You got it. I'm going to summon that in the woods. In the here. woods. It's going to go clear cutting. Clear yep. cutting. Let's go. I'm going to try cast the dreadful visage. So we tried last time on my turn. Yeah. We're going to try the dreadful visage. I get that with an, a seven. Yep, I'll try and stop that with my altar. Yep. Oh, the guy in the altar. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, no. Ooh. The other manifestation. Ah. Big tug sounds. Look at him go. I like and then Celeste is going to try and cast Overwhelming Acquiescence. It looks with an good eye. Yep. I got no looking. more stopping it. Okay, so I get to pick a unit within 18 invisible. I get plus one to wound against them. So uh, in combat. So I'll pick this unit. To get. So targeting them, they are holding within 18 of the altar. So on a five up. We hate it. Nope. Uh, I would have uh, ignored the effect of the spell and, uh, and gained a blood, blood type. type point. Yeah. Because after you summon that, that's pretty much it for your hero phase abilities. I don't. I only have one command point. I don't really want to do a magical intervention. And I could like summon a manifestation. That would be kind of cool. This guy's got two ritual points on him already. But I think I want to save it for an all-out defense, maybe in the future. Yeah. We're gonna back up the keeper of secrets to stay outside of my six. Yeah. I can. So I can. I can redeploy and blood surge. Like they're both this. I could do both those as well. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> it's like a lot. Yeah, blood surge is still like a tricky, nasty mechanic. But no, that's fine. I, you yeah. know what? If you want to do both, yeah, and spend your CP for that, 
then there's ways like at that point this gets an easier charge yeah, i make yeah, you yeah. strike lost anyway Correct. like it's it, it i'm gets, not really i'm not i'm yeah. s something I, i'm probably not going to do it right. but it's it's good to understand the yes. mechanics of that that's You're really neat when you start getting to the nitty-gritty of yeah, close yeah. by to a corn army probably not a good idea to be too close <laughs> yeah yeah if you, especially if you don't want something stuck in combat i assume yeah. you're going to be recklessly charging in anyway uh, so it doesn't really... more than likely i yeah. just want to have some fun here let's Correct. see what happens i'm going to save my blood tide points for stuff so i'm going to send celeska uh celeska might as well uh, just just because I think it would be fun to get Celeste involved. Uh, Celeste moves eight. So I'm just gonna Ooh, nice. go up this way. Sure. Ooh. If you wanna come get aggressive, let's go get Celeste. Always blood surge away, I suppose. <laughs> Gluto's just gonna run plus two to this. Ooh, so seven, seven plus eight. Nasty. Uh, so 15 inches. <laughs> they're gonna just gonna run. Right they're, gonna, there. they're gonna run and get nice and close to Gluto's. Oh yeah, get the negative get one to the, attack yeah. going on. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna get aggressive, you can. And then moving on, we have the demonettes moving up but around the blood warriors. Yeah. Uh, the the keeper of secrets has a cool thing that if uh, I've had any demon units that have died, uh, I can basically at the start of every single one of my turns on a four plus just like regen like replace the unit at half strength. So gotcha. the quicker I get my demons dead, the faster I get to use that ability. <laughs> okay, that's fair. You, you got, know, you got so a couple just, units of demons. You got yeah. them and them. Is there like a minimum size of the unit? No, it's minimum three. Minimum so like, three? yeah, so I could bring two of them, two of them back, back yep. and then half of them. And I think replacement units can't be replaced. Correct. So I can do it once for each unit yep. and that's about it. That's so cool. it's not terrible, but it does mean they have to come wholly within six, uh, 12 of the, the demon and outside of nine of you. So it's like... It, it, a lot of restrictions. It's a restrictive, but it, it is what it is at that point. The fiends come surging through the manifestation, through the woods. You can move through manifestations. Uh, and then they're hanging out over here. Yep. I'm okay. just going to hang out over there. Might as well. What about the Myrmidash pain brain? Uh, they're going to probably just get into the building. I'm not building. The building. <laughs> the woods. The woods. I could. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. I got to redeploy. I have blood surge. I think it's called blood surge. That's right, it's murderless, the speed of murder. Nice. You get to pick one unit, one blood tithe point, they move three, can get gra drag them into combat. So I like, these guys can move three up here, drag those three units into combat. You get to pile in, but they're gonna charge me anyways. Glutos can charge. I think Glutos is the only one who can charge, actually. Uh, no, the fiends. Well, they can. didn't advance, they just Correct, moved. Yeah. Correct, yeah. yeah. And it keeps my guys back here in case you get in combat with my guy. I could surge my guy up here so that he's more scrappy. That, uh, but then he could just get attacked as well. That's always scary. A part of me is a little bit more interested in trying to save my resources, I guess. It's a, it's a tough call, to say the least. Dude, gaze not. For that, though, we do have one more movement phase ability. I'm gonna make you gaze not into its depths. Ooh. So you get plus one to hit for this turn. Okay. But you take D3 mortal damage. Just right now? Just straight up. Uh, okay, we'll roll it up. Roll that D3 damage. Oh, you roll it. You roll it. Oh, okay, fair. Yeah, I'm going to suffer rolled. two mortal damage. I'll bring one of them down to... Th well, one takes two. You know what? They didn't like that. They're going to use murder lust. <laughs> I'll use one of my blood tithe points. No. They're, like, they're like, no... No, I don't think we're. Uh, I don't think we're about that. We're gonna go between those lines oh, there. Oh, sad. So now we're in combat with no. it, and we can pile into it and fight it later. <laughs> Not with much, mind you. And just... you did uh, use a move ability to get closer to me, so you don't take more damage. Correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey. That means uh, that's if I don't want to. I don't want to do any more movement phase abilities. So Are we're they gonna go two wounds to... each? They're three wounds each. Three wounds. Oh, okay. Wrathmongers. Yeah, they're still five up save, no ward save. They're pretty soft, and their ability only really works if they're in combat. This is me kind of trying to test it out. Last edition, they were cheerleaders. They used to stay in the back. Yep. But they're, they're kind of doing away with a lot of that stuff. That was technically never really a good way to represent their rule. Korn wants to go into combat. This, yep. They have to be in combat for the effect now, so that's fine. Uh, well, okay, let's do this. I'm going to shoot all of the archers, the Bliss Barb archers, into them. Yeah. And we'll see what happens. Understood. They're in the obscuring terrain, so I cannot see them. Yes. They're hiding amongst the trees. My Bliss Barb archers are woefully unawares of their existence. Not even, they, they might have an idea that they're in there. It's not worth taking the shots, wasting the ammo. Correct. Right? Yeah. yeah, so I get two shots per Bliss Barb Archer. Three is to hit. Four is at rend one. So that'd right. be six at rend one. Six, six up saves. I make two of them. Mm -hmm. oh. Sideways, I make two of them. Same roll. Yep. Uh, so that's one destroyed and a wound on the unit. Let's go ahead and lose this one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a wound on the unit. Glutos has a magical staff. He does, the Leer staff of Lothshire. Um, he's going to shoot at the other. Oh, Wrathmongers. Actually, you know what? No, we'll shoot at these Wrathmongers. Keep building those. Ones. Yeah, might as well. Right. Hits on twos. Oh, nice. One shot. Wounds on twos. Uh, no rent, but six damage. I am going to use the temptation die. Ooh, there. roll it. 
Oh, boom. So what do I, I roll the die. On a one or two, take D3. Uh, I roll the seven. six anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll use the temptation. No! I'll pass that six damage. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you are done shooting. Where do you want to start charging? Well, let's do some charges. I think the most important thing to try and charge is this guy. The keeper? So, yeah, no, the... Um, oh, the actual one, the spell. The spell. Uh, it's the within, so it's within nine of stuff, so I'm going to try and get in. If it can get in, that'd be good. So it will not. So that's going to dictate a little bit less of where I go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the keeper next. Keeper of secrets. Rolls a six. Enough to get into combat. Yep. However, not enough to make you strike last. Mm. Keeper is going to commit to these reavers there, staying three away from the other elements to the right there. That's gonna drag, we're purposely dragging the Wrathmongers in, but avoiding the Blood Warriors, because you want to use the Temptation ability on them. Correct. All right, I understand. Yeah. Um, okay, other charge. I'm gonna try and get Celeste into the fight. Where is Celeste? Well. Right back there. Right there here. Is... Did not run or oh, anything. Yeah. Nine, nine is a okay. I think you get plus one as well, because of uh, Glutose. Yeah, might as well. It's now a Hero's Smorgasbord. Right in the middle, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and just charge Glutose in. Glutose gets Glutose a... Eight. Nine, even. So I'm Ten, gonna, even. I'm going to go this way with Glutose. All right. To make sure he's wholly within six inches of his uh, of his entourage here. But I could always pile in there and fight them if I wanted to. Let's get the Blades of Excruciation. Let's try and get them involved. Is that uh, them? No, the Blades. Oh, blades. The, the actual literal Blades back there. No. That's a three. No, that is not going anywhere. Okay. Um, and then the Demonets. Do I want... The fiends are next. The Fiends, let's see what they do. They go eight. Eight looks good to me. I'm going to stay outside of three of your, like, stuffs. The Wrathmonger yeah. and the, the Lord and everything. Yep, yeah, it's going to beat gonna, up the Reavers. Just going to try and chop them up a little bit. So the demons are not going to charge. If this would have made the charge, then yes, because then I could try and make them fight Strike Last. With its ability, But yeah. not today. Okay. Yeah, okay. Is, is that, I, don't, I don't have any charge abilities myself, but is that it for yours? So that's it for me. All right, do you have impact hits you want uh, to do? No, I don't know no if impact hits or, like, ramp, like, I do have my Rampage, of course, with my Keeper of Secrets. What is, well, I don't even know what the Rampage keyword is relevant to. It's just a monster that does something in the fight phase. I think, yeah, but I guess maybe the future, maybe Who knows? future planning for Rampage we'll stuff. I don't know. Like, so my demon is going to Rampage and get plus one damage against your Bloodseekers, but heal your guy. Oh, is that like the temptation thing? Yep. Is so that I'm what the rampage you. is? I heal D3 to your target, so I'm going to heal you D3. My unit heals the one. Hooray! And then <laughs> no no extra save for you or nothing this all time. Right. I got all of defense still. Yep, yep. A <clears throat> fight ability over here with the fiends, where they make me fight last, or they pick a unit in combat on a Strike. four. On a four plus? No. Nope. So okay. you do not strike last there. Interesting. Start this off with Celesque. Yep, I'm just going to try and get Celesque. Um, she's just going to, or Celesque is just going to pile in into that little that nook happy little there. nook. Yeah, and then we'll get involved with Celesque here. Four attacks from the Axe of Dominion. Hold on one second. She uh, has a cool ability where I can pick a, de a non hero demon, demon unit, non hero like mortal unit, like a Sabrite unit, and I can use all out attack and all out defense on both units for one CP. Oh, okay. Which is kind of cool, but I don't have any CP, so it doesn't actually work. <laughs> so let's do the Axe of Dominion hitting on threes. Good start. Hit. Wounding on threes. Good These follow. are rend two. Oh, it goes right through my armor. Three damage each. We have one reaver left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Just as they charge up, cleave. Cleave. cleave big axe cleave. of dominion. Rah! And then the scouring whip. Six attacks hitting on twos. Any fancy rules? Uh, or on fours, rend one, two damage. So that'd be... Six. Three of them. No, there's six damage. You just, they're dead? Uh, excellent. You yes. get a, you a get blood, a blood type point for now. that. There you go, dang. Wow, Celeste hits uh, relatively hard. Yeah, okay. Celeste's a big fighter. Uh, I did, I've never used Celeste in Age of Sigmar before, oh, okay, so I have okay. no frame of reference. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, fighting I, six up save one wound guys, I guess. Actually, three damage is pretty handy on a big axe. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think my best bet is just a pile in with these guys. i got to figure out how many are in six. I, this one in the back is definitely not going to be arranged, but the front three ones probably can attack the keeper. No, he's within six. The guy in the very back? Yeah, yeah okay. the keeper. All right. Well, then we're going to do just that. Oh, i got to stay away six away from Glutose as well, though. We'll get those four in there attacking. Yep. Uh, I am negative one hit, though, because you have the supernatural speed. Supernatural ability. grace. Supernatural grace, that's yeah. what it is. Now, there are fours to hit normally, uh, down to fives because of supernatural grace. But the trees, the blood marked trees, will give me plus one to hit. So we're back to hitting on fours. Nice. I could all out attack. 
but I'm going to save it for all-out defense when they eventually get attacked. Crits uh, for two hits, so I could get lucky there. Uh, I got a good amount of sixes. Well, two. I guess that's pretty, pretty okay. But anyways, that's going to be two more hits. So in the end, only three misses. 14 hits. Threes to wound. Dropped to die earlier. Uh, these are going to be rend one. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Ten five up saves. Fours goes to fives. Uh, you make three. I think you have a ward. A five aboard. So seven damage, maybe. Oh, six damage? Six damage. Okay. Nice enough. Now you just made her angry. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. That's it for my pick there. Uh, up to you next. Yep, I will go with Lutos. Yeah. I might as well. I'm gonna pile in, get some I'm gonna attacks. pile in. Uh, how many wounds is this thing? Eight wounds? I'm just gonna attack everything into your. Uh, yeah, the... I didn't get these guys into combat, I hope. No, I don't know. I don't, no, you don't you weren't within six anyway. I'm just yeah. going to attack everything into your little blood warrior guys. Yep. yep. Okay. Um, so... Well, I'd say I can pull them, but let's see what Glucose does. So Glucose does eight attacks with his great blade and claws. So hitting all three. That's like threes. his retinue, I guess. Yeah, it's like, yeah. The whole, like he still has a couple of whips and scouring things or whatever. I don't know what this little skull means, though. That's his but... damage. Like if he's damaged, that's what it's referencing. Ah, uh, okay. So it's a little like okay. whatever. Okay. Like when he's got 10 wounds left, that's yeah, what gets yeah, affected. Yeah. Makes sense. So threes. However, Any crits or anything like these, that. These uh, crit hits too because oh, he's euphoric. euphoric. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are on threes at rend one, and they're three damage each. So well, he does well, well. do 15 damage. Well, you did it. We killed him. Okay. They're dead. That's there a blood tide point. Not terrible. We're go, at... go, gadget, glutose. <laughs> We're at three blood tide points now. Nice. Oh, well, the only other thing I have that I can attack with will be the uh, mighty skull crushes over here. So they're going to move up and around this way. I'm just yep. going to go boop. Get that guy fighting there, and then this guy's gonna go more of a straight three to get where this thing is. And I don't, and then just him, but this guy can't fight. Yeah. He'll go right there. So the Mighty Skull Crushers have six attacks each. Uh, the each. champions, Ooh. sorry, I mean between the two of them. Oh, okay. The okay. champion in the back is not gonna get his extra attack. These are twos to hit because of the, but it didn't matter because of the woods. Nice. And threes to wound. Uh, three wounds at rend, I think it's just rend one. Just rend one? Yeah. Six up save, six, six up, up save. Board. Six up ward save. Ooh, takes two. two. How many? How much damage can it take before it goes down? Uh, it takes can take up to six. Okay, so I got to do four more damage to it. The juggernauts have two attacks each now, but they're all D three. Instead of it being the same profile as the guys on top, they're just completely different profile now. Interesting. Uh, so they hit on fours. Don't roll threes. Thank you. I they don't get the plus one. I don't. I see. I like. I'm pretty sure I don't because it's they're companions. companions. Mm. But it's. Mm. But they're not being. Tar but they're not being targeted by an ability. They're in a passive aura, so I'd have to look it up. Interesting. Okay. Anyways, I. You still missed even with all of them. I, yeah, I, I, I did. All the same, I didn't roll threes. Okay. I whiffed. I whiffed the roll. Go. I didn't kill it. Things are going to pile in to engage the Wrathmongers uh, yeah. and avoid the Lord of K-Horn here. Force hit. I take, I'm going to take two mortals after that. That's a Wrathmonger yep. thing. Blood threes Fury. Threes to wound. That's three at rend one. Oh, these are six up saves. Get lucky, make one. No, 3d3 damage. 3d3 will do. Ooh, almost max. Ooh. That's all they got. Okay, you take your two ward saves, two ward saves for Blood Fury. No, I take two. You take your two, I take my eight. Uh, well, I'm going to lose this guy for three. That's the champion. This guy for six. And then two damage on the unit. They're three wounds each, so they're kind of hardy, but, you know, it's kind of scarier here. Now they can fight. I I will pile in. Yes, I am. I'm outside of three of Glutose with that guy, so I guess I'm just gonna. They all fight. They're all within three. Anyway, yeah, they're all. With, they I just want them on the objective. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. At four, eight, twelve, thirteen attacks, hitting on fours. That's a good roll because I got three extra hits in Ooh, there. Oh, very nice. Threes to wound. I don't get any bonus to hit on them because I already controlled that objective. I just forgot to put a flag on it. Uh, I get my guys get plus one hit fighting on objectives that I'm contesting but don't control. I wound them eight times. Eight. Goes Six. to sixes. Sixes. Ooh, nice pink two. And six up wards again. Ideal. So you kill one and three damage on the unit. Okay, not bad. Kaboom. <laughs> bam. And bam. How many were they? Four or five each? They're four each. Okay, so we got five more wounds left before they die. And then the Keeper of Secrets. Keeper time. I am going to all-out defense them with my last command point. I would love if they live. That would be good, actually. Yeah, because that stops your battle tactic also. No, no. I already got oh, oh, two kills. Sorry, I forgot. I lost all my yeah, yeah. yeah, I got yeah. two kills. But it, it, you might as well. Yeah, keeping them alive is yeah. nice. So I'm going to do threes to hit with the... Sorry, twos to hit with the Great Blade. 
Sixes Yo. are extra. So you got all hit. Yep. And then threes to wound with the Great Blade at Rend 2. So that'd be two Ooh. Rend 2. Oh, nice. Well, these are six of saves. I'll roll. Fail them both. at six damage in total. Yep. And then the two claws. My two claws. These need threes. Ooh. One hit and another, another mortal damage. That's not bad. Yeah. And a three. One at Rend 2. So I got six. I'm going to use the Temptation, the last one I have, to nice. make a six. So I've yep. taken six so far. I'm going to roll it. Ooh, I take D3? D3. That's better than four, I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I'll pass the save, and I'll just take an additional three. So, so I mitigate one. So three six, will go down. nine. Yeah. I got one guy left. One just the, guy's Just alive. the champion. And yeah. you take two mortal damage. Uh, so my, two ward saves. My blood fury ability. I take ability. one mortal damage. Not bad. That's everyone. I'm going to pull him, because he's the one who stays. Yeah. Put him back. He's a champ with the he's, extra arm. Yeah, he's got warm. <laughs> he's got the extra arm. Nice. The third thing. Glutos uh, picks a Sabrite. Holy within 12, he's going to pick himself to heal up to 6. He just heals the 3 that he took. And then I took damage this turn. He did. Which means I will heal 3 with my Pendant of Slanesh. But you still have 4 damage on you. I do. Yeah. I do. Down now, I've got 12 remaining on that monster. However, pretty good turn for me. I'm not yes. going to lie. You do take control. Uh, I mean, you probably have control of this objective. Uh, so he's 5, and there can only ever be 1. So that's a total of six. Yeah. Will be yours then, because that's a total of their one plus his five for six. I have three, four, five on that character, so I'm off by one control. But that's okay. I mean, it gives you the option. Do you have blood type point stuff to like make your OC like or vector control higher? Like, could you spend? No, no, no interesting. No, not quite. Just damaging stuff for the most part. So with that scoring wise, I get one point for this. Yes. Two Ooh. and two. For a total of five and, and then, your battle tactic. And a battle tactic for nine. Nine. You're that's six a, points ahead right that's away. A, that's a, that was a yeah. very good first turn. It was. Well, you you had a really good first turn on my turn. I did. You had two really <laughs> good turns two. in a row. Your turn was good for yeah. me, and my turn was good for me. Yeah. Guess who Slanesh says is the best? Me! We got four more battle rounds. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we got four more battle rounds. I uh, have no command points left. I have no I, We used up our resources. I got three blood tithe points. Uh, the you only, used both the depravity dice that I gave you. I did. You. I did. Well, they, came in, they came in kind of big. -ish. Yeah, it would have been. It, it only saved a damage in that regard. Yeah. But the previous one, actually, it saved six damage earlier. So that unit is still alive because of them, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, we're going to roll off a priority. That's kind of where we're at. That's the last thing to do. I think I th that's it. I think. I think it's that's the last it. Thing to do. It's, uh, we go up, we've got our command. Points. You did your you heals. You have an extra command point, though. I do. The underdog. I'm the underdog. And my guys have more gets control. Extra objective control in this mission. Not terrible. Not too bad at okay. all. Okay. I feel if I win this, I want to steal it, but yeah. I did not win it. Yes. I will keep the initiative as it is, and I will go in this round. Start of the battle round. An Euphoria. excess of depravity. There are three units that I'm going to give. I'm going to full depravity this okay. time. So okay. Glutos is going to depravity. Uh, Celeste is going to depravity. And my unit of Slick Blade Seekers is going to depravity. Run and charge, eh? Yep. I see what you're saying. So that is... That'll give you three... Temptation it's, dice, though. It's yeah, I got I got these right here. It's so it's run and charge and crit hits essentially. And two hits, yeah. Yeah, is that that's crit two? And okay. there's one spell I can do that can then turn their crit hits into mortals. Oh. So I could cast okay. a spell to make uh, I make their hits like mortal hits instead. Well, sounds like I got to pick a battle tactic. I've already kind of considered it. It's going to be ordained carnage or ordained rule. Wow, I can't read. It's kind of off to the side. Charge with two pretty... things and take an objective away Correct. from me? Ordained nice. charge. I like Do it, it enough. That's I... a chaos one. I know it because I'm, I'm also chaos. Probably going to go for that one over there. I don't really have to claim it. I just have to charge with two things. And one of the things has to be on an objective, contesting an objective I took away from my opponent. And bam, over there. Or I mean, it could technically work over here too. But that glutose is over here. Screw that guy. I am going to go with a blood sacrifice on my slaughter priest. Do you hear me, corn? Corn! Nothing bad happens on a... Corn uh, did not hear you. He just did doesn't hear me. He's too focused elsewhere. It's a tough call, what I want to do for prayers. I am going to have this priest on an altar start channeling for... Ooh, I kind of want to do Unholy Flames, because I could use it right now to get the extra Ren going. Increases the Ren characteristic of a unit by one. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to pray for Unholy Flames. Ooh, I got a six, because he's on the altar. I will immediately use all those ritual points on the blood Mighty Skull Crushes over here. They are going to go and get extra AP this round. Nice. Uh, if I had a 10 plus on the ritual points, it'd be plus one wound as well, but that ain't, that ain't what's up. Then we're going to go with our Lord here is going to try and pray for the... Ah, oh, it's a tough call. 
Unholy Flames is an unlimited keyword one, so I can keep everyone can try and do Unholy Flames once to get extra AP. I'm gonna try and summon the Wrath Axe, I think. Ooh, we add four to that. He's at six. He will conjure the Wrath Axe. Just gonna summon that back here. And then my Realm Scape Ritualist is gonna try and pray for Unholy Flames, I think. Oh, I do wanna get the skulls down, but I'll try and work on the skulls later. We're gonna go for Unholy Flames again on the Ritualist. Oh, Corn here is, we lose D3 Ritual points, we don't have any. She's having a hard time. <laughs> that is it for my hero phase things. You wanna do a magical intervention? Yeah, Glutose is gonna try and magically intervene. Uh, that is a... Come on, point. That is a command point, it's a command ability near the bleeding icon. If I roll an eight up, which I do not, okay. nothing bad happens. So, uh, seven plus, I'm gonna do Crippling Famishment, and it will go off on a seven. Do uh, So what does this do? In, I pick did, a you unit. Apply, did you apply a negative one to the roll? From? Magical Interventions, negative one to oh, prayers. Oh, then, then it will not go off. Okay. So yeah. it doesn't matter. So I needed to roll an, an eight. eight. Gotcha. It, I didn't know it was minus one. Does he get any bonuses to cast? Uh, not you, right now. He used to. Okay. He does not, no. Unless I prayed on a place of power or right. I okay, get the plus true. one to cast on the faint. That would have been uh, pick a unit with an 18. And that unit is minus half move, half run, and half charge. <laughs> we don't want. I always have. I have blood tithe points in the back if I need them. Yeah, no, I wanted you. I them. wanted you to use the, the blood tithe for yeah, that, but I sadly that. No, not today. No, no, no. Uh, Glutos is a little preoccupied eating the things he killed. It's going to be my movement phase now. Uh, the Wrathmongers are tied up with the Fiends. These guys are kind of lingering out. I feel kind of confident enough. Ooh, I could rally a unit too. I got the extra command point. I'm not going to bother with rallying. I was debating it, but anything I would, the only thing I could really rally are those Mighty Skull Crushers back there just for a couple of wounds. So we're not going to be too worried about that. Instead, we are just going to simply move. Do not forget, I, I pick unit within six in the movement phase to and take gets, damage. And gets plus one to hit. Ooh, that's true. Uh, no, I'm okay. I'll, that's, I'll still I'll still keep it going. Oh yeah, I probably should have tried to ban it. No, it's okay. I didn't want to banish anything either. This is fine. I wanted to do my prayers. We're going to move them up this way because we're going to try and threaten this. And then, well, we can't really do much with our Lord of Corn other than moving like to right here, essentially. So All right. <laughs> he's stuck there for now. Coming up and around. Keeping him there. The Wrathmongers are going to stay in combat. We're not going to descend from the altar. This Wrathmonger wants to stay in combat so we can utilize his ability. And we want to try and deal with this Keeper and Celeste. That's going to be quite hard. With that in mind, I have to be careful how I move these guys because of the nature of the mirror. Mm -hmm. So when I move these guys, one of my three models has to stay as close as it was before or technically a little bit closer. Yep. So I'm about like a quarter of an inch away from it. So I got to make sure I'm a little bit close to them when I finish my move. Otherwise, we're going to have our uh, Blood Warriors come on out. Going back over to this, we're finishing our move. Yep. Blood Warriors came out, but have them keep one back there for the mirror. The Realmscape Ritualist goes into the pocket that they open up getting closer to the mirror. And then the Blood Secretor moving towards the enemy, getting closer to the mirror. And then our um, Mighty, uh, sorry, Mighty Skull Crusher is coming up and around. It's just a well. disruption spell. Did, you know? li did literally nothing other than force me to be very meticulous when, with my movement. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. So I will give the Blood Crushers plus one hit Ooh. and do D3 mortal damage for a mortal damage. I take a damage. Boop. One mortal damage and then I'm spending a command point to shoot <laughs> with my... And they're the closest. They are, they are the closest. Minus one to hit though. Yeah. All right, hitting on fours instead of threes. One extra attack in there for the champion, of course, which I forgot last time. Oh, I see. True. And threes and fours. Oh, fours. fours. It normally is threes and fours. This time it's fours and fours. Just two. two. At rend one. All right, we're two a three up save on them. Threes. We take another damage. I got one. <laughs> Four damage on the unit now. Yep. The well, mirror is gonna be more annoying than I thought. I should have just stopped it. Same here, earlier. Luca. Yeah. Same. It's gonna here. cause a lot of mortal wounds when I charge in because I have to move away from it. So that's gonna mm -hmm. be a pain in the butt. I think we're good to go to charging. So we're gonna go ahead. Oh, do you want to redeploy anything? By the uh, way, I didn't give you the option. So two CP, like. It's only one CP. Oh, sorry, oh one you only CP. have two CP though, yeah. Okay, no redeploys. We'll declare a charge with the. Ah, uh, we'll do this guy first. I think he has rules if he charges first. So we'll do Lord of Corn on Juggernaut. We'll go 10 inches. That's fancy. Nice. Smash. There we go. Good there. Stay outside of range of Glutose. And I'm going to go ahead and use his crushing charge ability or the stampede ability, which gives him a crushing charge roll of D3. If I roll over a two, it inflicts that much mortal damage. So it's three, three mortal damage. So one will kill one. Yep. And then. And two over there. 
And then I'm gonna roll a charge for these guys. Now that he's got a passive ability, the Lord of Corn, once he charges, all Cav that are Blaze of Corn holders in 18 get to add one of their charge roll and re-roll their crushing charge ability. So we're gonna go 11. Nice. Let's get ourselves some Mermadesh Pain Bringers here. We're gonna go up and around. I like it. We're gonna end up getting near that thing, but whatever. Yep. It is what it is. And they are gonna use their little stampede ability as well. Nice. They're gonna roll oh, two, sorry, two mortal damage. That's it? Yeah, uh, Ward saves. I take two, you kill one of them. Eat that pain bring. Ha Ow! The fiends have a three up ward. They oh, do. sorry, oh, they uh, took three damage. Yeah, they're fine. They're oh. Uh, still dead. It's just a six up ward? Six up ward. Oh, I see. Oh, I have a bunch of sad charges over here. I gotta do, the endless spell is gonna be a real pain in the butt. Got a lot of charges here. Let's do, I'm gonna do the Blood Warriors first. They are gonna roll a charge of six, and I'm gonna take D3 mortal damage. I will lose a Blood Warrior in the back, and the unit will take a damage. That's from, sorry, that's from Them me. From the mirror! Moving away from the mirror. <laughs> we'll charge in like that just to make room for some of the characters to get in, or at least some of the characters to try and get in there. Mm -hmm. Definitely wanna stay three away from that. I would like to take out these ladies too, but I might, I might save, the, I might let the Blood Crushers do that later. Or, we'll see. I'm gonna charge these characters now. Realm Gore Ritualist is gonna declare a charge. She'll go six. Nice. Yeah, she'll t she'll make it and take she'll take three mortal damage. Good. We're gonna have this Ritualist go whoop, just to right here between these guys. Yeah. With the three damage, I guess I could put that down afterwards. And then our Blood Secretor is gonna declare a charge as well. It's gonna be a little bit harder for him though. Just the fast pace to the end here. This, this, oh, 12, oh, 12 uh, He'll take his D3 mortal damage. We're just yep. gonna, we're gonna line up his damage so we can get killed by Celeste later. There we go. Rawr. I'm sure we're fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen here. I believe the only thing left to charge will be the mighty Skull Crushers. A uh, boop. Oh, they're gonna go double one, eh? Mm -hmm. That's probably gonna be a forward to victory. So I'll have to use a command point. Yep, forward to victory. I'm gonna go seven instead. I kind of want to go with the Keeper of Secrets. It'd be really nice to go for the Keeper of Secrets, but I want to put some damage onto these um, demonets down here where I can. And if I go over the Keeper of Secrets, I'm definitely taking damage from the mirror. So I'm just going to charge into the demonets. And, Poor uh, demonets. We're just going to use that to... Uh, we're going to have one of our guys just stay close to this thing again, just so I can <laughs> mitigate the stupid damage And punch from it. it. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll pile into them and fight them, but just oh, let them take right, damage right, right, from right, it. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. There we go. Look at that. Do their impact hits to... This thing's got three health left. Nope. That's four left. Four left, yeah. yeah. Let's go to them. They take two mortal damage on the demon Uh Ward saves. Kaboom. I right. take two. All right. And that's it for my charges, and you would like to not use any counter charges? Nope. No. Is it too risky for Glutose over there? No, there's not really anything that I... Want to counter charge? If I could counter charge the spell, I would definitely counter charge that spell, but yeah. I can't. No. And they only give their bonus if they haven't charged. Right. So I do not want that to be the case there either. I do have a couple of uh, combat, you have combat abilities, abilities as well. Yeah. Do you I have got, any as well? I got one. I got you. I'm going to plant the banner. Plus so one attack. Plus once per game, same as last time, the entire army gets plus one attack across the board. Nice. Horrific musk. On a four plus, I'm gonna make your little chain guys. Nope, nope not quite. They do not fight last. And then I will heal your one blood <gasps> crusher. Why, thank you. And then get a, <laughs> the temptation of Slanesh. Heals you, but I get better, I guess. Get yeah. a little bit thicker. And that's it. Good. Okay. Coming down to where I should fight is gonna be a tough one. Could fight here. Uh, just have one guy fight backwards, have these two fight the demonettes. That way I don't have to, actually no, piling is not a move ability, so I don't have to worry about that thing when I pile in. So I can just hit all the demonettes here. But I'm not too concerned about that. I'm more, a little bit more concerned about getting as much damage onto the Keeper of Secrets as I can. So I'm actually going to pile in with the Blood Warriors and fight the Keeper first. We're going to fight here. The Keeper is negative on hit, but we're holding within this tree that is blood marked. And we are contesting an objective we don't control. So we actually get plus two to hit yep. uh, from that. So it's going to be counteracting the negative on hit from the Keeper. Would you like to all of defense or anything like that? Uh, you might make me not be able to. There's are you only there. rend one right now? I am only rend one. These are, so four is to hit. one damage each. Four well. to hit, three is to wound, rend one, one damage. Uh, the Glaive, who How the champion can't take anymore yet again, is uh, a two damage weapon. I it's a better damage How weapon. How many, uh, three attacks each, right? So you've got 18 attacks? I think they're both four attacks each right now. Oh, four. Four attacks because you've been saying because of the thing. So you got 20 some attacks. I've got a decent amount. I am 
I might as I've got two CP. I'm gonna try an all out defender oh, okay. because it really depends on you rolling. No, I am. Um, I don't know if it has. To, I think it's just within eight, so we're okay, probably we'll roll good. it and see if it matters. It does matter. It matters. Okay. It I is, use the command point, but nothing happens. Yeah, it eats it up instead. Too focused on fury. To murder. Issue, to, yeah, murder to <laughs> get the command. Very right. fitting, Luca. Very fitting. Not bad. All right, well, let's uh, see what these Blood Warriors can do. They're going to get quite a bit of attacks. Uh, not only does the Blood Scrater give them an extra attack, this Wrathmonger is in combat, giving them all an extra attack as well. There's five attacks per model, and there are eight models there with the axes, and then the Gore Glaive has uh, five attacks afterwards. It'll be a total of 46 attacks. Five of them are just from the Glaive. So here's the first 20. Nice. Normally hitting on fours, but actually hitting on threes because we get plus two to hit, and no crits or anything. Even with my minus one. Even with the minus one, yep. Yeah. And threes to wound. First half, we have five, six, seven, eight wounds. I'm sorry, nine, nine wounds. Nine. And the other half, I got to reroll one of these for the champion who does not get the glaive. There we go, he does hit. And threes to wound, an additional five, eight of them. Here are your These are rend one. Rend one. So needing five for the keeper. Okay. This is a lot of damage coming through. And needing five for my wards. Okay, okay. not terrible. That does do. 12. No, nine. No, these are only nine. one damage each. Yeah, these are nine. nine, so I take nine more damage. So he's at 13 suffered in total. So he's three Ooh. remaining. Who's left? We do have the Gorglaive to attack with. Gorglaive usually kind of fails me. Uh, it's not bad. A couple of hits, not bad. And Especially with the wound. pluses. Twos to wound at rent two. I need to pass one of the, well, I need to just only take two damage. So let's yeah. see if we can pass one of these. Six up, saves. Ooh, no. Four damage in the pool. Four damage. I need to pass two of these. Six up wards. For the keeper, five up wards. Yes. Nice. nice. As one one remaining. wound left. Not bad. Very nice. That done. is my pick. Well, here we go. It's keeper time. I have one wound left. She's going to try to do her best. Yeah. So she's going to do. I'm not going to attack them because they can do mortal wounds back to me. To the, they do it specifically to the attacking model. Correct. Too. So yeah. I don't want to attack them because I have one wound left. So I'm going to do two uh, sword attacks, two sword attacks. And then both of the impaling claw attacks. I'm gonna although defense the blood secretor here. So okay. I'll go down to three command points myself. Okay, let's do this. Start with attacking the Wrathmonger, who's got three wounds. Hitting on twos. So if, as long as one is hit. And the damage profile is you have two less attacks on the sword. Correct. That's what's going yeah, on. Yeah, so I'm damaged. So it went from six to four attacks, basically. Yeah. Threes to wound. That's only one Ren 2. It's actually, I should have, you got lucky, I should have warned you. If you rolled a single one against oh, him. Oh, I could have. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Ren I'm two? glad I didn't roll a yeah. one then. He is dead. He's, He's dead only no two damage. You got two of them through. No, one went through. Because oh. it's threes to wound. Oh. Yeah, I needed I both I thought you to go did through. the temptation. Is it? I thought no, you I did the temptation to them in case I wanted to fight them. Oh, it only gives I, you plus one damage against them. Uh, hold on. That's, that's actually to oh. the entire blade. That's not bad. That is a blood tithe point, though. And into the ritualist. Into your little ritualist here. No special, I like, get stabbed back or something. No, no. Twos to hit here. Mm. And threes to wound hit Ren 2. Ah, she's dead too. She's dead as well. I didn't really want to put her in there, but I said, ah, whatever, why not? Well, just I blood tithe points. Last but not least, the impaling claws. If one of these goes through, I get that little banner guy. So okay. threes to hit with the impaling claws. <sighs> That's not going to be enough to kill you. Because that's at Ren 2. Ren of 2? Yeah. I have a 2 up save. How much damage? 4 damage for sure? 4 damage. I'll just use your temptation. Of place. course you will. <laughs> yes. That's One what three. I was hoping wouldn't happen. Ah, we uh, actually roll a legit oh, six Sad there. face, sad. So he is A OK. -okay. I don't know why I'll uh, defense him knowing those attacks were going into him. So I guess I'll. There's no point, because I guess whatever. In case I, in case you hit with both, that's that's why it was. Because yes, if you yeah. hit and wounded with both. But if one went through, I was safe no matter what. So but I, I wanted him to live. Yeah. You get to fight with someone else? I do. Well, I kind of have to go with him to try and take out this Keeper's Secret. So we're going to put all the attacks from the Blood Scrater into the Keeper's Secret. If you secret. don't, I heal three, and then you just, it's yeah. like you go down the, the road of pain again. I do get to summon a Brass Meteor next turn, which is I pick nice. something and just takes a bunch of mortal wounds. That's so awesome. The healing three probably wouldn't help, I hope, but... I'm going to just try to avoid that and kill him with the Blood Secretor. So the Blood Secretor has five attacks, uh, plus one for his own banner ability he popped. And nice. I'm minus one to hit, but I'm plus one to hit for the woods nearby. I'm not on the actual objective. Angry so. Woods. Angry Woods. So back to threes to hit. I don't think sixes do anything. And don't mind the white stuff. I was playing with a marker earlier. <laughs> hey, oh, only one. Only one. Rend? Uh, one. Okay. So this is a five up. <sighs> Two damage. I need to pass both of these. Ooh, five up. Will words. you drop the keeper? 
Oh, I do. so close. The keeper does Get go down. That nonsense. That does kill you. That does kill something, though. Yes. So, dead keeper. Ah. Okay, I'm pretty okay with that outcome, I suppose. You, you have one pick. wound left over here. I do. So, I am going to pile in and yeah. activate them. I try just want to try and. Guy. Yeah, they're going to try and kill at least one to maybe keep alive. <laughs> so, we'll see. These demon nets piling into the mighty seven, skull crushers near this eight, place of power. Nine. And I do get a blood tithe point for taking to the keeper. Threes to hit. Oop. Fours to wound with rend one. That's Five, please. Probably be enough. Uh, two up save on them still, but yep. uh, three up with the rend one. Can I get lucky? Ooh, that does finish off and keep a damage on the unit. Well, that was a fail, so I just flipped over with my thingy. I am going to get rid of the banner there because I want the champion extra attack. And we come to this side of the board. Uh, the other logical pick would be, I don't know if these pain bringers are going to do much. I want to take out this fiend before he takes out a wrathmonger. So I'll go with the wrathmongers attacking the fiend and take out the fiend instead. I won't be able to get the objective back because of Glutose, but it is what it is. Actually, no, I will have more control because I'm the underdog. I will take it back. Oh, no. You know what? I was doing the Bloodbound War Host incorrectly. It's plus one to hit against an enemy unit contesting an objective you don't control. I don't have to be on the objective. Not that it's relevant because he still ended up taking out the Keeper anyways. But for the, you know, feature notes. Anyways, they have five attacks each because of the banner. So it's going to be 16 in total with our champion into the Fiend. Of course, dead normally, but threes because of the formation. And we miss those and we get... Actually, it's all, everything hits because of the sixes. And fours, but his 60,000 dice. Uh, here is a lot of Ren 1. So that's three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Sixes. Uh, sixes. Sixes. Oh, look, you kill him. Blood time. Dead. Huzzah. We're going to go with the uh, pain bringers over here. Yeah. They are going to stay in the woods and get some cover, which is a negative one to hit now in this edition. Not excellent, up, excellent. Good. I'm okay with this. Yep. Uh, they do get three attacks each plus a champion. You're hiding in the woods. I am. Three set. Okay. Right. Three hits. to wound with rend one. Six, please. Rend of one. Three ups. I take two damage on the unit. That right over there. Boom, boom. Uh, that's it. That's it for them. For them. Yeah. At this point, I don't think the alternating matters tactically, so I'm just going to go ahead and fix these ones. Or, sorry, resolve my attacks into you. Yep. I, uh, are they just eight wounds? Yeah, just, just eight wounds. A bunch of dudes. With a three up save. I'm hmm. not going to bother all that attack. I'm just going to try and fight through the cover of the woods. I'll put all my attacks in on the pain bringers, including the juggernauts. Normally hitting on threes, uh, and they're the extra attack from the blood scrater. Yep. But we're going to be hitting on fours because of the woods here. Hopefully it doesn't punish me too bad. It's not two hits. That's not the worst. Now, we are wounding on threes still. Bloop. Not terrible. Not bad. We fail three of those. Now, these are normally run one. But we charge as the um, special assignment yep. guys against infantry for Ren 2. And we have Unholy Flames on us for Ren 3. three. So 5 or Ren 3. That's 6s. That are 2 damage each. 6s. Uh, we do so eight, damage. 8 damage in total. Adding 3 there. And a 6 up ward save for being uh, awesome. Nope. Yep. There it is. You just wiped them out. Yep. That's a blood tithe. That's another blood tithe point. No. Red 8. Murder. <laughs> that does unlock the max reward if I want to use it. That's in the next movement phase. I'll have to do it. My entire army would get plus one attack. I'm probably going to go for that uh, for sure. So, <laughs> Slaughter Triumphant. Just going to pile in, attack my... Two, six attacks. Okay, nine ain't bad. Nice. A lot of little weird sword blade things. Excruciators. Fours and fours, no rent. Oh. That's a good start. Yeah. Nine hits. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Go, little guy, go. Yeah, there you go. Just six, six of them. Two up save at least. These are good against non-armored enemies. No damage. Oh. Uh, the only, I could activate him to pile in, but we're fine. I could just like turn him sideways a little bit, but we're, we're just going to stay there. We're going to go with the Mighty Skull Crushers into the Demonets. And do some damage to them over here. Uh, four attacks each. Yep. We're hitting on twos because we're near the tree. Yep. Twos. And threes. Nice. Uh, two fails. These are in one. So yeah, six so of them. Six, that's two damage each, right? Because you charged? Yep. You, you probably have a five up save on them. Nope. They have a six up save. Yep. They're very soft. <laughs> yeah. Ward save. And that is... Uh, okay, we got them. You got them. Blood tie point. Uh, bye bye. Boop, boop. All right, we're just, uh, this is the turn where everything just dies. <laughs> I don't believe there's a cap on blood tie. I don't see it mentioned that anywhere. And if I'm wrong, let me know. But, you know, red nine. Ooh, my manifestation's backfiring on me. It does allow 
you to, um, one second. Yeah, you can pick this to pile into, get closer to that, but technically get closer to them and beat them up. Because Glutos work. has a giant oval base. Yeah, and manifesta stuff. manifestations uh, both hurt and don't. <laughs> well, help. it already stopped me from saving my, uh, it did, yeah, from my, my great demon. There. Gives this big, stupid nonsense <laughs> extra movement though. How do you want to split your attacks? So up? I'm gonna do the great blade is gonna do Four attacks here, four attacks there, and then the little tiny whips and stuff are gonna go into the Wrathmongers as well. All right, you wanna kill the Bleeding Icon first? So I'll do the, yeah, I'll try hit the Bleeding Icon, so it'll be on threes, and no, oh, okay. okay, just one. And on threes, one at rend, one. Oh, five up save after that, oh, that's definitely a fail. How much damage? Three, three damage. Uh, I got two dice here, it's got a six up ward. It suffers three of them. Three damage on that guy. Then we go to Great the Great Blade, yep, into them. So threes. I'd say, like, you take a damage technically, but it doesn't matter because you heal six, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that, oh, that's against them. Yeah. And then threes. So that's two at rend one, three damage each. Ooh. Uh, six up saves, eh? I could use a Temptation die to mitigate some of this. I'll roll one. And then, yeah, I'll use a Temptation die, I guess. It's once per unit per, like, Turn, I guess. Let me base. read it to you. Yeah. I used the temptation die here, so yep. I'll, I'll take three so far. Yep. Roll this. Don't have to take three. Uh, or any D3. Any, yep. Or D3. So I have one temptation die left, and then three damage so far, and you have more attacks. Little, little hand attacks and stuff. Threes, and that. Goes yeah, into yeah. One. Crit, crits two, because he's four, yes. And then fours. Nothing. All right. So three will effectively just destroy one. We'll lose this guy here. Whoop. And that's it. That's it. You just have uh, Celeste, Celeste left. Now I am within oh, engagement range of these blood secretors. The so blood I'm, warriors. I'm not. I'm just gonna. I have to stay in engagement range. So I'm not really gonna move them very far. But I'm gonna stay in engagement. Yep, yep, yep. And then I'm just gonna hit everything into your uh, your big guy over here. The banner. Yeah. I'm gonna do the whip into them actually, because right. they're two damage each. Okay. So anyone that goes through just kills a guy. And I am. Uh, Euphoric, which is kind of neat. So let's do the Axe of Dominion first into your banner. Uh, threes to hit. Yep. Sure. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then uh, twos to hit with the whip. Okay. One miss. And this is fours to wound. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. That's yeah. it. That was an attack. Yeah, that, that happens. You know, nothing. Nothing happened there. Good. <laughs> good job, Celeste. Okay. I think that will bring it to the end of the fight. <laughs> Interesting. Awesome. Uh, well, points. Points. Yes, uh, I do. Even though I lost the guy, I still take it because they're both worth four more in total. Is it every unit or non-hero units? Ooh, might be. Is non-hero units, so they're going to be worth two plus two for the tw uh, underdog bonus, and he's worth two, so that's six. So I'll take this back. You flip it. And I will and flip, flip that this one, one as well, which means I score nine victory points because that's two, four, five plus the four for the battle tactic, because nice. I am still, I charged with two things and then I took an objective away for chaos, obviously, for Korn. For chaos. Yes, for K-Horn. Today is a, well, this turn was a red turn, uh, obviously. So, <laughs> uh, and I, 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 yes, I did forget to charge this thing. However, the thing I was gonna charge it into died, so this is fine. And it might've been awkward, it's placement as well. That is the end of my turn. I got one temptation dice left. Uh, I got a lot of damage on everything. I got a bunch of blood tide points. I got nine of them. Yep. And uh, I like ah, Slaughter Triumph had always seemed kind of bad before, but I think I'm just gonna roll with it for now because uh, it's early, it's turn two, and I have a good chunk of my army, like good a good chunk of fighters on my army yep. still alive. Yeah, it's still. It's an update on the score and everything. I'm at 14 points. Scar is at nine, and uh, I got three command points remaining. Ha ha ha! Jokes on me. <laughs> Battle round two. Uh, Glutos. The with... Grand Gourmand. Yeah, he does increase the uh, control score of everyone nearby. So I, I lose two victory points that I didn't. I'm at, I gained seven, not nine that last turn. A quick little He's correction. actually objective control eight on there right now. Yeah. That is wild. <laughs> I will pick Slay, the Entourage. It's all about murder. Yes. I haven't done any control areas of the battlefield. Just no, not, murder. Not yet. Only murder, yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and pick. Um, is it? I don't have to declare which one, though. It's just I'm not too sure if you have to pick, but yeah, by. Pick a unit, yes. Oh, I will pick, pick this unit, all right. and I will attempt to slay. That yeah, unit. Well, that means you got to kill my blood scrape. You have to kill something from my general's regiment. So, general, he had two many skull crushers. He had that guy and some other unit. Might have been them. Might have been Reavers. They're already dead. Can't yep. quite remember. All the same. That guy's the target. There. I'm going to use the spell Subvert from Celesk. Needs a seven. Does not go off. Okay. I'm going to use Sadistic Spite, which is a six to cast. 
from Glutos, and it goes off on an eight. So I, it will be this Saberite unit, so this Euphoric unit, and it will change their crit two hits to crit mortals. So they, if they, it, but it doesn't, okay, it just changes it then, eh? Correct. So oh, instead okay. of doing two hits, the thing is when they charge, they also become two damage. Interesting. Correct. Interesting. I could stop that, but it means I won't be able to do another Blood Tithe ability. I can just try to unbind it, though. So That's I right. will try to unbind it. You rolled an eight. Let me see if I roll higher. I do. I ah, sad. I'll say that was the altar priest. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to use Overwhelming Acquiescence on Glutos. It goes uh, does not go off. Okay. Needed a seven to go off, but it would again plus one to wound against an enemy unit. Should have been really tip for your hero phase. This unholy flame buff, the extra rend they had, does go away. Forgot to okay. take that off earlier. I am gonna not okay. use a prayer. I'm not gonna use a prayer at all. Okay, well they're just gonna yep. get up nice and close and personal. That's fine, here they come. <laughs> yep. Here they go. And they're coming to scoot over here to try and stop these guys. Happy to stop the crit to mortals, that's for sure. Yeah, that was, I was really hoping, but then again, you didn't use any of your blood ties for that, so you rolled it, so it was risky, but Correct. it paid off for you. Uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to move that, so you can't, like, reactive move yeah. or anything. I think it's that. stuck there, too, technically. I like, could fly away. Oh, like, it just, retreat. it just yeah. retreats. Yeah, retreats a core move, yeah. yeah. It takes, I think it still takes mortal damage as well. Like, sure, it, it would. Yeah, yeah. It has a ward, but then it flies over stuff. You want to keep it does, like, combat, mortals, But yeah. I don't want them to be able to, I don't want them to react to anything I'm doing. Right. Uh, and then over here, I'm going to move uh, this little spell here. So this little spell is just going to move what? up this way. What? Come on. Like this way. You want to charge those Bliss Barb Archers in a combat too? Uh, cool. No, I could have given the plus one to wound, actually, which would have been really funny. And then like You still can. It, if no. it doesn't change. No, no, no. They are one. 100% not going to do that. Okay. They are going Is it risky to... for them to do that? No, they just take D3 damage. Oh, I see, I see. But they would like to shoot things, I presume, you know? Like, I don't think they'd want to be in combat. Oh, this is a little token. Okay. Yeah. What does that token do for them now? So, minus one to hit uh, against shooting. Oh, right, nice. They basically count as being in cover. It's got like a smooth But if I roll a one to any save roll, they that thing just dies. Oh, he dies first. Gotcha. Yeah. They still think, yeah, I get that. Okay, yeah. interesting. Uh, is that it for your moves? That's it for my moves. I will use one of my command points. Boop. Down to, to two. To use a redeploy on my lord, because I nice. don't want him here anymore. He'll go, ah, uh, that's fine. That's whatever. It is what it is. He's going to go one inch. Look at him go. He tried. He's very uh, excited about life. I will use eight blood tithe points now as eight. an ability. Plus one attack to your whole army for the rest yes, of the game. Yes, slaughter oh, triumph. Spicy. So the rest of the game, every unit in my army will have plus one of their attack characteristic. So movement phase as well. I'm going to pick them to yes. take uh, D3 moral damage. Ooh. Look into my eyes Ugh. and tell me that you love me. <laughs> Hopefully we can kill it this turn if we're still there. To the shooting shooting phase. phase, five of them are in range of him, so they're going to shoot him. Okay. And then the other five are going to shoot into those guys. Blood Warriors it is. Yeah. The champion's one of the units that can shoot into the uh, big guys. Gotcha. So threes and fours. So two at rend one. Just need one to get through. Trying to get one. Oh, you got it. I do. Always weird. If I want to keep the horn, because I could rally better, and if that guy somehow miraculously lives, he adds three to my rally rolls. Nice. I'm probably too far away, and I'm probably not gonna. I'm not gonna invest in them. I'm just gonna lose my musician. I'll keep the champion for the extra attack. Who are the blood warriors? Yeah. Uh, yes. Into the blood warriors. Ten of them. Threes. Okay. Okay. Good talk. And fours. Ooh, three at rend one. Rend of one, three up save normally. They're okay. Nice. Who does the shooting? His staff of leering. He's gonna shoot into the, uh, into them. Yep. Yes, thank you. Uh, two's to hit, two's to wound. No rend on this. We Six damage though. We are gonna go ahead and use our- uh, <laughs> The little, lost depravity We're gonna use our little depravity here. Cause if, that, cause that would kill the unit off. It would, it would just it'll, kill the unit. It'll itself. give him freedom to charge. It as well. would yes. as well. <laughs> it counts as a six, however, it still is. Okay. Nice. That's the third time, by the way. <laughs> I feel like they specifically put that into the rule. Because yeah. you could have rolled a die afterwards, but it's like, no, you roll the temptation die. It counts as a six. But roll anyways to see if you take damage. It's one of those things like, what would have happened if I would have just rolled? So yeah. it's like, exactly. it's like, it feels bad. Be like, oh, uh, uh, I could have uh. had it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that six damage, though. We don't want that. Psychological warfare works. Not at all. Hello. Charges. Uh, are they going to charge it? Seven. 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 I'm just going to go around Very this good. way. Very good. I can't. Charging over here. This is going to charge as well. This uh, spell goes that's, four. That's good enough. So just going <laughs> to basically tie up as much as I can over here. Just yeah. be annoying. Like that. 
Any other charges? Uh, no, because oh. they only get abilities if they don't charge, so I'm going to stay right where they are. We will declare a counter charge with a nice. horn, Lord of Both Skull. Both of your command points. Ooh, five, but he's going to go to that thing. And he'll go ahead and use the Slaughter's Charge ability. He does two mortal damage to the weird... Warts. Blood. Takes one. Blades. One damage. How many wounds does that thing have? Six, I believe. Oh, okay, fair. Yeah. So I'm going to do the uh, Dreadful Visage ability, the Flensing Tongues. Ooh. Roll six dice. For every four plus, you take a mortal damage. If I kill a model, you strike lost. That is... Nope. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, makes... So that makes it easy as to what I need to do. So he has to fight first. everything yep. into them. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, who, he's attacking the Blood Warriors? Just attacking. Oh, no, okay, just yeah. attacking into him because he's my... He's my uh... Yeah, the, those Blood Warriors, could e I think they could easily do nine damage because they get to pile into the... Uh... Oh, 100%. Yeah. Well, they get to pile into him anyway because yeah, he's correct. already in combat. Yeah. But um, I am going to... Uh... I have no command points, so... I'm going to try one command point. Oh, no. Do I want to try a command point for all out attack? It's a little risky with um... this thing, but... Yeah, I know. I might as well, because then, depends on what happens here, I think a plus one hit would actually be better there. Yes. So I'm just going to attack with him there. Right. Uh, you have no more temptation dice. I got nothing. Just We got dice now. Okay. Straight, just authentic dice rolls. Just Okay, let's see Celesque. Big Axe of Dominion. Of I am... Dice. Sixes? If, if Euphoric. Threes to hit. Yep. And then threes to wound. These are rend two. One, no, no. Ren. We have base save on a Blood Secretor. He does pass it. Oh, very nice. And the whip on twos. Oh, no. This is looking less and less likely as we go along. Fours to wound. Oh, oh that's not yeah, bad. That's not bad. Got four up Three saves on him. four up saves. We'll no do more. Two at first. Ooh, okay, he's got two. it comes down to the last one, Luca. He's no! Oh, my gosh. Suffers Madness. Two damage. This thing could still maybe pile in and attack him or so something. So annoying. But... Oh, okay. You got well, like, you he's got, got two wounds pick left. Pick something to fight now. Uh, that is a great question. Uh, how many wounds do these things each? Five. Five? Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, we're gonna try and mitigate some of the damage these freaking guys are gonna do to us over here so we can so we can stay strong on this side of things. We're gonna pile you into here. We're gonna have you just stay here. We're gonna yep. put all of their attacks into the Slick Blade. Right? Seekers, yeah. Se do you wanna do any commands on them? All those no, uh, actually, you're Rend 1, right? I'm, yeah, I'm Rend yeah, 1. So I will all out defend them with my last command point. Makes sense. All the extra attacks for Slaughterer Triumphant. These are threes to hit, because I don't get any bonuses. Threes to wound. Yep. These are all the attacks, including the champion. Oh, we only got two. Two of them. He ran one, one Fives damage. stays at fives. So just one damage each. One damage each. I've taken two. In the they end. don't have a ward? No, they do not. Oh, the murder Surprisingly death. enough, yep. Juggernauts get to go. They do get the extra attack from Slaughterer's Call. Uh, the companion ability on weapons only prevents other friendly units buffing them up yep. with their abilities. Uh, that's a great roll. That was not bad. Yeah, fours to hit, threes to wound. Uh, Ooh, yeah, the Juggernauts nice are mad. That's seven when he hits. Uh, AP one. Oof, and these are D3 damage? They are. Juggernauts, Ooh, very nasty. a lot of impact. Oh, that's not bad then. So four D3s. Okay, four D3 damage. As long as I kill a couple, I'm kind of happy. Uh, five, six, seven damage. Seven? Yep. So They're... that'll kill one and leave one with uh, one, one. with a wound, eh? Yeah. yeah. All right, that's not bad. Boop. 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 They're only four wounds each. Yeah, so you kill one, and then one has taken one. Yes. Seven, eight, nine. Yes, that's how that works. There you go. That's math. <laughs> uh, activate yeah. my flensing claw, because I can get within yep. you know, engagement range. Of it's another Hail Mary try. That's I gotta. I yeah, gotta no, try. You, you gotta go for the battle tactic, absolutely. That's right. As much as I wanted to pile in and around and get away from it, I just wanted to save as much damage on them as I could. So this thing has eight attacks. Yeah, it's got a weird amount of looking attacks. I'm just hoping I have my two wounds. I, maybe I'll just keep getting lucky. Threes to hit. Okay. Fours to wound. At Four. rend one. Four. One damage each? One damage each. All right. Four ups again. Oh, he's dead. Oh, thank you goodness. Go. You got your battle tithe. I got it, but that's a blood tithe for you, though. Yes, it is. We're back up to two. As much as I'd like to attack with these wrath mongers, I kind of want to, like... The only thing I'd really want to attack is pile in and try and do some damage to the twin souls. Are they two wounds each or three wounds They're each? two wounds each with a ward save. Uh, and the twin souls would have a ward save because they didn't charge. Yeah. And uh, if you're in, in range of them, you would get minus one attack as well. I think I'm just going to pile in with this guy. Pile in. We're going to go one to about there. And then I'm going to go two inches further this way. But we're not going to get too far. We're going to go to this spot here. I always hate when things are that close. Yeah, it's I'll definitely just, uh, very close. I'll be uh, cautious here and just attack this thing. 
Yeah. Put his attacks into this with his wrath forged. Do you have a coin thing where you get to fight me in like a moving phase like you used to? Was that a thing that you used it to was do? The, with start, of the, start of the hero phase. Oh, like a okay. fight. Apoplectic yeah. frenzy. That's gone. No, yeah. That's gone. Okay. Seven attacks with the axe. Uh, threes to hit. Yep. No crits or anything. How many like uh, like crit abilities? Just like pure stats here. Uh, two? two wounds at rend one. Rend one. So sixes. <laughs> and what's the damage? I think it's two. Oh, what saves? Ward save. I take damage. two more. Juggernaut's got three attacks now. He oh, the Juggernaut's not really that mad. You know what? It didn't matter what he attacked. He wasn't going to accomplish much. <laughs> you can go. Um, I guess I'll go for um, uh, I, well that that's all fought, right? Yeah, this is all good. That's all fought. Uh, this can't fight. Correct. That, that's all four. You're pretty much like just this. Just Glutos. Yeah. So Glutos is just going to pile in again. My Wrathmongers. And just get involved. So oh, how is the damage is the same. So I'm just going to put two of the Great Blade attacks into here, because you have five wounds left. Actually, yep. three Great Blade attacks in there. And then five into the Wrathmongers with four little flensing attacks. Mm -hmm. So do the three into your big guy. Okay. okay. Good talk. <laughs> and then... <laughs> and then Two hits there. Yep. Oh my goodness. One. one. And that uh, was at rend. Rend two, three damage. No, yeah. rend one. Rend one, three damage. And that's into the Wrathmongers? Into the Wrathmongers. Six up. Nope. And then four little scourge and, scourge and dagger attacks. So these are on threes. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Nice. And fours. These have no rend. Three, three of them, no rend. You just need one of them to go through, though. Three five ups? Ooh. Thank goodness. And that is another blood tithe. They were like, if anyone was curious why I didn't attack with the Wrathmongers there, it's like, I can't just think, no, I don't want to drag them into combat because they could have piled into him. And then I just, he just heals like 12 wounds of battle round, so yeah. <laughs> no real point, unless you're really going to put him down in one turn. He does. My turn! I got a couple things to fight with over here. Let's do the Mighty Skull Crusher into the Weird Mirror. <laughs> thing is an enemy in the combat phase, so we're going to pile in just for the look. We're going to do this, hey, just Rawr. to get that butt closer to over here. The champion with five attacks, Slaughter Triumphant. Uh, we do hit on twos. Nice. Wound on threes. Thanks for oh. that. Murder, murder trees. The murder trees, man. The murder, the murder trees. trees. Four one, wounds right? at minus one, yes. Uh, sixes. And a ward save. One damage each. I take three. He's alive with one. All right, let's go with the Juggernaut. Hits three times. Wounds two times at rend one. Sixes. No. Nope. And uh, 2d3 damage. Six oh, damage. Oh, no. It He's does. Dead. We, okay, you got, got the mirror. But it's not an enemy unit when it dies, so it's not a, it's not a blood tithe point or anything. So now I go to the Bliss Slick Blade Seekers. Eee. I've got... Uh, four of them remaining. No, three of them remaining. Oof, they took a little bit of a beating there. One, two, three, with a sergeant, with a champion. Threes to hit with crits, do twos. Okay. Okay. Ah. Fours to wound. Fours. So three at rend one. These are two damage each, three up save. Oh, Ooh. I didn't want to fail two of them. That's four damage four. so far. Okay. Boop. And then the weird. Uh, and then the secret. companions. Yeah. And. Two companions, would they get the exploding? Uh, picked by, it's not a friendly unit it's giving not an them ability, ability. right? It's yeah. an ability, but it's not by another friendly unit. So they would know? still yeah. be euphoric, I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah, they are. Um, Lots of hits. Yeah. Force the wound, but no rend on these. Yeah, it'd be hard to justify five. my army rule working and not yours. <laughs> uh, five wounds at rend of one? No, no rend on these. Oh, I know what, I picked zero up zero that uh, four earlier, like a fool. Let me put that back. There we go. A zero rend? Zero, zero rend. Fifth damage. That'll kill one fully. Nice. We get to attack with. Okay, I got one. Oh, Nicely we, done. The banner. Not bad. And then we move on to these blood warriors. They're going to pile into Salask. Yes. All right, they all pile in. Giving up a lot of control. Well, I mean, abandoning the object, but uh, trying to kill Salask is the main goal here. Yep. We are going to go ahead and attack. The regular axes are four attacks currently because it's Slaughter Triumphant, and that's yep. about it. Three is to hit for just the one reason. Uh, here's the first half. Sixes don't do anything. I say that when I get excited and see a lot of sixes. <laughs> uh, so far, seven wounds. Seven. Then the second half, this is including the extra attack from the champion. Nice. Not a bad Volley roll. time. Yeah, lots of, lots of, blood wear. they've always done like lots of one damage attacks. That's a great roll too. Yeah. And lucky Nicely here. done. Six, nine additional wounds. Just a bunch of them. One damage AP one. We're gonna watch for your sixes here. Cause yes, because six, any sixes yeah. bounce back dev, uh, mortals at you. I believe so, yeah. So I bounce back one, Excellent. and I Is only it three make... Save... Oh, you make no, two? No, no, I only oh, make two. Okay. Oh, no. That's not great. Uh, so I bounce back one, and then wards. You do kill him. Yep. You did 10 damage, and he's just dead. All right, so that goes down. Black. And I take uh, mortal uh, one damage. mortal damage. You guys are absolutely Holy moly. this game right now. Holy it's crap. Awesome. They've killed the Keeper and Celeste. Yep. Well, that is... I have my little excruciation yeah. thing, guys. Who's he piling clankety, into? Clankety, just going to hang around with both? Yeah, just going to get in there, and then I'm going to... Um, 
Um, I'm going to uh, do 2d6. I'll attack the... Uh... Oh, that's a blood tide point, by the way. Sorry. Oh, yes, nice. Who are you hitting? Uh, so 2d6 attacks. I'm attacking your blood crushers, because why not? These two guys, yep. Yeah. That's a lot of attacks. And fours and Six. fours with 10 attacks. Yeah, fours and fours. Nothing too crazy. And fours. Just looking for you to roll some ones there. Three. Alrighty, uh, it's a damage. Nice. Got two left on the unit before they go down again. This is the end of the second battle round. Uh, you do get your battle tactic for taking out the Blood Secretor. Again, I kind of wish I'd protect him a little bit more, but I figured I could survive that thing's attacks. I didn't. But it was a gamble. It, it allowed me to save them a little bit more by killing two of them. Yeah. You do get your seven points, though. One for this objective, two for this objective, for three, and then four for the battle tactic. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's an update of the score. As we go to the end of the second battle round, I'm still down by six. I'm at 10 points, and uh, Scary's at, actually, I'm down by a lot more than six. What am I talking about? I'm at 10, and Scary's at uh, 16. Oh, no, I'm 16. Six points. Six yeah. points. I, I could do that. It's not bad. You're, so still, the, you're still in the. Uh, still the underdog. Still the underdog. We're yeah. going to battle round number three. What a bloodbath this has been, though. Very fun. We've got a priority roll here. We do. I, you, you, know, can, you can afford to. Yeah, lose because this I'm up tactic. six points, yeah. I feel like I'd give up my battle tactic and try and. Do enough, like try and do enough work on them. If I win the the roll, it right. also allows me to use my battle trait, which is fall back and still charge, which will allow them to oh, once the again get involved Correct. and try and do more damage as what well. What is yeah? What is your battle trait formation? So my battle trait formation is the Seeker Cavalcade. So cavalry units can fall back and not take mortal damage and right. fall back and still charge. Okay, this so, hasn't been up, that hasn't happened yet. Okay, good, it, good. Well, I only have one cavalry yeah. unit. <laughs> the other ones, like the other ones are okay. The only other one is like, you get plus three objective control to all non-hero knight units that are within combat range of friendly heroes. That's a so lot like, of words. So it's like you get more objective control. Yeah. And I tried that like one time before. You've like, already tried game. that, gotcha, gotcha. But I was like, yeah. I wanted to, I don't know. It's sure, yeah, I get sounded it. cool for yeah. this sort of situation. Like it, it would be good. It would be very be nice good for right them. Now, you know. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Okay. A two. Ooh. You get to pick. I will keep it going because <laughs> I need to catch up in points. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I just gotta make it so like he's not killing me pretty bad right now. You gotta pick two of your units to be you fork or up to three. Sorry. So I will pick um, them again. Oh yeah, them. and I will also the pick them again. And oh, now it's glutose. battle round number three. So Glutos's oh, yeah, feast. Some, some more, more rules. I get plus one to hit for everything within twelve of him. Okay. In shooting and in combat, Let's just get plus away. one to hit. Let's yeah. Get the heck away from him. <laughs> we don't want to be near Glutos. Uh, what do I got for priest left? I got one. I got two priests. I got priest here, priest here. I kind of want to banish. What's the banishment value of that thing? Uh, the dreadful visage. It's a seven. Interesting. Utilize uh, the blood sacrifice on himself again. Uh, we do. Does blood sacrifice? The only thing he can target is himself. Now the alt, like I mentioned earlier, he doesn't get attack. The altar does. That's literally only for attack abilities. So if you were to attack the blood, the, the slaughter priest, you actually instead attack the altar. So the slaughter priest takes three damage though, still from that, and we get a blood tithe point. This is a five blood tithe points. I don't really need him to summon anything this turn, nor do I need him to conjure unholy flames. So I'm going to attempt a banishment roll on the, that whatever that is, the mouth tentacle attack. Oh, awesome model. It's got a banishment roll of seven plus. Ah, oh, it's fine. Stays. Sticking around. Stays. And you can't banish it again. I've already tried to banish it, so it's, it sticks. That's so. actually very good for me. It keeps my archers alive for a turn. Yes. So that's yep. very good. It'll help. Yeah. I am going to... I gotta deal with, I could try to banish this one as well. It'll get him out of combat, which will allow him to charge, which would be nice. Okay, three. they did, they piled in with it. Yeah, believe, it looked like three. Yeah, yeah, it looked like three. Yeah. Okay, well, then I'm not gonna bother banishing. I'm gonna conjure something instead. He is gonna pray for, uh, he'll pray for the Hex Gorger Skulls. And if I like my roll, I'll, I'll, he only gets two ritual points. That's fine, that's for later. I'm gonna use four of my five blood tithe points to conjure a Brass Skull Meteor. Nice. I need to pick an enemy unit that's visible to one of my heroes. I think, like, I don't care about this stuff here. I'd love, 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 love to be free of that weird endless spell, but I guess I can just pile on to the objective just to get away from stuff a little bit. I would like to hit them, but they're not actually visible to any of my heroes. Ah, this guy could see them maybe. Yeah, he can see them. He can see them. I could Brass Skull them, or I could try to alleviate some of the pressure here and Brass Skull over here. But I get to fight first, and I could probably alleviate some of the pressure just by fighting. So I'm gonna shoot a brass skull at those archers and maybe that'll make them a little shaken. It'll show them. They take uh, six mortal wounds. 
So on threes? It's just threes, yeah. Oh, wow. I just nice. right, in the, right in the middle of them, just corn loves it. There's they do not have wards. There you go. Eat that, nerds. Try magical intervention. I'm gonna try. From Glutose, I assume. Correct. So I had the bleeding icon. It's worked once so far. It has, it has. It worked again. Oh, no sad. spell cast and the command. I've been trying to kill that thing. I mean, it's not like I have it. I know. <laughs> that thing, okay. <laughs> that that, like, I, I looked at that, I'm like, that's kind of strong, whatever. That's out of everything I've done. That's the been, best it's thing. It's been really good, thing. yeah. Probably led to the keeper's death. It's stopping Glutose a little bit now. Yep. Burning command points is what it's really doing. It's really good. I can go to my movement phase now. I, I'm just going to move that mighty skull crusher, I guess. Eight inches, yep, towards all this nonsense. How far away is he from those archers? He is 11 and a half. I, well, 11, I guess over 11 and a half. If I get a box car, I guess I can go for them. This all stays where it is. He's gonna stay on his tower of power. And then we're gonna- The Tower of Power! He's too sweet to be sour, baby. This Wrath Axe I can move, I suppose. I forgot my battle tactic is gonna be do not waver. I'm gonna attack with two of my units and not lose any this turn. Uh, that is the hopes here. So with that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and move this and that'll be that, uh, that'll end my movement phase, essentially. The Wrath Axe moving up. Not gonna really contribute much, it's just hanging out. Yep. Might be threatening later. I could charge, maybe it could screw up, uh, what's it called, them? A yep. little bit. Yeah, I like it. Twin Souls, but then die to Glutose, or at least try to distract his attacks away from the Bleeding Icon, I don't know. <laughs> You're redeploying your archers? They didn't like that Breath Skull Meteor? No, they're redeploying because you have two Depravity dice, so you could make a 12. Ah, I didn't even so consider that. So I'm going yes. to get away ah, smart. and go six. six inches okay, away. guess who's not getting charged? <laughs> oh, the, 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 all of a sudden these depra these uh, temptation dice are quite scary. Yeah, <laughs> gonna hang out way back there. Yep, no okay. double no, six no, no charge problem, no for problem. you. Luca. I understand, no problem. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to my shooting. Would you like to shoot? Because uh, I got uh, shoot. how many? Come on, you, you have two remaining. Uh, what am I gonna use them for? I will then, yeah, so no shooting. I'm going to nope. go charging. That mighty skull crusher back there is going to clear a charge. Ooh, a 10 on his own. Where is he going to go? I'll, I'll just go to the far end of that. Yeah, just around there. You get the idea. Yep. I will use my slaughtering carnage ability. It's three mortal damage on to the endless spell. Board save. It does takes two. two. Down, Ooh, uh, takes damage. two. You have no two more charges? Points? Nothing? I got no more charges. You don't, the axe is just going to sit there looking pretty? <sighs> Oh, I guess you might not want to throw him in just in case Glutos gets wise and punches it to death. I mean, he's just, he's kind of there to try and do damage. I'll charge, see what I get. Okay, we're not charging anyway. <laughs> we got a double one. Come you on, boy. Come on, boy. No, no, no. I got five. I, you know, I don't even think you can. I don't even think oh, you can. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't that's even right. know. <laughs> uh, they cool. are, that is it. Yep. Uh, command ability, I, I mean combat ability. I don't have any combat abilities other than yours, so go ahead. So I'm gonna try hit the big blood crusher unit on fours. Oh, oh there you go, that's two go down. All right, it's gonna destroy these two and right. keep a wound on the unit. They strike last. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, well, uh, I don't have any combat phase abilities. Love that I think. spell. That spell is really good. These manifestations this is like my nuts. new. This is my new favorite spell. Oh. Let's uh, go ahead and fight something then. They're gonna fight last. I don't have to worry about the Mighty Skull Crusher. I do have to worry about stuff over here. It's uh, probably better for me to go with them over him because they do a lot more damage than he does. So that's the logical choice. I assume you're gonna all out defense. Uh, yes. And I am going to all out attack to try to combat that, I guess. Yeah. I'll be at four, you'll be at one. And they're gonna, I'm gonna choose them to pile into. And we're just gonna go like this. I don't think it really matters. But we did it. I have my attacks sitting on twos. Didn't matter for all that attack. Yes. Good to know. Threes. Uh, uh, three three wounds at Ren one. Back to your normal save. Fives. Oh, three. And no ward save there. Oh, no ward save. Okay. Bah, I'm gonna and kill then him. the juggernauts have three attacks per because they're two normally. Hitting on threes now. It's more so the juggernauts I'm trying to help out. Okay, spend a command point for one more hit on a juggernaut. There hey, that D3 damage is pretty good. So. Uh, three wounds, Ren one. Fives. Nope. Damn. 3d3 damage. Right. Oh no. Juggernaut just 7 damage. Oh, I live with one. <laughs> one guy's alive with one. <laughs> the champion? No, the champion already died. Oh, champion's dead. Oh, I yeah, gotcha. I definitely don't want you piling in and fighting me with your Juggernaut. Oh, I'm so just gonna go beat up an endless spell. You can 100. It's gonna attack the Blood Crushers. 2d6 hit attacks. 7, seven of them. Not bad. And fours. Why do you think so Three. mad? Three boots. <laughs> uh, if I fail two of these. A little bit at a time. We're good. Okay. Ah, sad. Here you go. I will. I'll just go with the mighty skull crusher over there. I'll keep yep. him where he is. I'll pile in a little bit because it looks like I'm a little far away. Right. Charge. So these are two damage each. Uh, these hit. Nice. Actually, he does hit on this because it's an enemy one. unit on an objective. Oh, I control that objective though. So. Yes. So uh, one I'll, miss. I'll yeah. just say. Oh, but are I'm, you I'm holding, holding within. within yeah, yeah. We're you good. can make it happen. 
I yeah. know. Yeah, you're no, fine. You're, you're, fine. you're fine. The mur so this is a fail. The wound of four wounds of minus one. The murder tree provides plus one to hit. And the visage does not get a save against this. So it's only six up save. Yes. All right. Eight damage then. Eight damage. Six ups. And we destroy it. Yeah, it dies. It All goes right. down. And then that's it. You fight with this guy. <laughs> what, are you afraid or something? Yep. Very afraid. <laughs> Little left. glaive. Ooh. Ooh five hits. Yeah. And then four is to wound. Three of Ren one. Three of them Ren one, eh? Let's go. We're good. Oh, come on. <laughs> and then the companion. And fours as well. One at no rend. Two. Oh, sad face. And then the Lord's going to go. We're just going to pile him in. Not anything crazy. Just getting up and around. We're going to try and break this endless spell a little bit. Yep. And we're going to attack. Seven attacks into the endless spell. Uh, not hitting on twos. Wounded on threes. Uh, two of them Ren one. Cool. Into the spell. Uh, Five. This thing has a better save than most. So six ups, four. one damage each. Yeah, that's two damage. He's got two damage. Oh, okay, okay. So four six damage. ups. Uh, no, nope, it goes down. All right, got that in the spell too. Rah. Nice. Boom. Again, pretty sure those do not count. Those do not blood tithe point kills. And if you prove it otherwise, then let me know because that'd be great for corn. But <laughs> killing spells is fitting to get. But yeah, it's not, there's no blood. Fitting, it's just, it's not blood just, at all. just beating up stupid magic. Can you do it? Can What's you the kill? on your brass uh, axe thing? That thing there? Yeah. Glue toast. Glue toast piles around that, and swings his butt in range of the altar as well, and the axe axe. The glue toast is just around. Glue toast is just. <laughs> all, all is just this is my. He's got that little uh, the little beeping sound from all of the <laughs> like construction the giant vehicles. trucks and everything. Boop, boop. <laughs> I hate this model so much. It's a great, beautiful model. Yeah. Beautiful model. Yeah. Mechanically, though, you're like, ah. I hate, I hate, ah. I hate things like that ah. so much. We're splitting these up. So one claw and big great blade into here and all the little whip attacks. Three uh, big attacks into there. And then four attacks into your... Uh, so many attacks. Yeah. You know what? Might as well. So let's do the one into this uh, altar thing that I, the blood altar. So the big claw attacks. Yeah, it finally hit. Does it wound, though? It does at AP rend one. Five, five up armor. One. That's damage. three damage for that. On the skull. Nope, on this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I got a ward save for that guy. Six ups. I take three. He's okay. got six. He's got two remaining before he okay. goes down. The little scourge, scourge on dagger for threes. Oh, he's does not kill it. I live. Nothing. It lives. It never dies. Oh. <laughs> three right. into your skull axe. Three into the axe of death. Two, two hits. hits. Not enough to kill it. Threes. One at rend. One. Uh, that's a save. Nice. And then four into your little altar. Uh, all hit. Oh. Three wounds. And these are the big axes? Yes. Rend one. Rend one, eh? Oh, five. Five. Nope. That's three damage. Oh, whatever. I'll do another one. Yeah, so it takes six. There we go. Uh, yeah, the axe gets to fight. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I don't want to pull these guys into combat. So I guess the axe is just going to go to here. Yep. Stay away from them. There's no reason to attack, even if I did, even if I did max damage. Oh, okay. I still heal myself. There you go. You're just showing it off. Two of them. Two, of them. two wounds at rend two d3 damage. So sixes. A and d3, two, and you have reward. Reward. And then he heals six wounds at the end of the turn. There okay. We go. I said if even if I do max damage, it won't matter. I'm like, well, I guess my max damage is nine, but the odds of me getting even remotely close to that are. Uh, I think I'd rather. I think I could get struck by lightning. <laughs> I don't know. It's one. Of However, those. though, you do get your battle tactic. I do. Yes. And you get uh, the two objectives that you still hold. So I got seven points there nice. for battle tactic and three over there. Not too bad. We got. You know, we're kind of doing not the plan perfectly, but we're killing everything else with glutos, and we're trying to limit options. Yep. So end of my turn. Get another seven. I'm at seventeen. Scar still has sixteen, so I'm up by one. But he gets his turn. It's uh, not ideal, and I only have one blood tithe point. I'm going to fight with two units, uh, which is do, do not, not waver. waver. This is what I did. Because yeah. I can fight this thing and not, <laughs> and not die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Surrounded by manifestations of corn. <laughs> Pluto's like, please stop. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's going to be a good one. That'll be fun. Um, and then, uh, oh, I forgot. I get plus one to hit because of Glutos. <sighs> Oh, his uh, battle round three or Yeah, one. it's fine, whatever. He's got too many rules. He has lots of rules. Too Better to bring rules. other units that don't require uh, so many rules. So Hero he, phase stuff. Hero phase stuff, for sure. We're going to spend a command point to rally. You're, that's it. That's your command point. So six of them. They do not have a musician, but uh, I get one back. Hey, one archer. One plus yeah, yeah. yeah, one comes back. Get one ready. Back. Get ready to run. And spellcasting for Gluto. So crippling famishment. Glutose gonna try cost. Is it minus one here? No. No, no. no it's only if you do it on. Yeah, so it goes turn. off on a seven. 
And who does this target? Uh, it's going to target your Juggernauts. Hmm. I'll try and stop it. I got two unbinds. I don't have enough for a uh, curse, spell leader curse. That's two blood tithe points. Yep. I'll try the unbind over here. Mm -hmm. No, that's a fail. You okay. got it. So they are now minus half move, minus uh, half charge, half advance, or gotcha. whatever it is. Uh, that's very yeah. good for me. Move four, charge. 2d6 path. Half. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm going to try and summon the Dreadful Visage. I really like that spell. It's a good spell. It's a really fun spell. Damn good spell. Goes off on a 7. I'll try and stop that with my uh, general. He's got the Caller of Contempt. 9, 8. Ooh. Oh, you you suffer D3 mortal damage. Okay. I guess I'll... You know, it. It's a rule. 3 damage. You have a ward save. Ward save 5s. I oh, take two. 2 damage on Hooray. Blue Toast. Good job, Blue Toast. If I do, you know, 7 damage or 6 additional damage this turn, we have damage stuck for now. <laughs> the movement, this guy is just, wow, he is going very far away. Okay, fine. Yep. Absolutely. I, I, I guess I get that. <laughs> then from this, these Bliss Barb Archers are going to run. Boogie. They're going to flee. Just make sure they can see your guy, but not enough to... I do, oh, before you keep moving, I do want to do um, uh, uh, summon. Oh, okay, summon. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. We're going to use three here. Three command Sorry, we're going to use one command okay. point going down to three. We're going to try, we're going to pray for the skull. Is it minus one to hit? I get minus one to the roll. Okay, the, nice. The valley here. I get a three, so I'm going to add five to it. So I'm going to add three to it, and I'll go to five, and the skulls cost four, so I'll summon the skulls. Okay. We're going to summon them there, wholly within 12, more than nine away from, from where they the were. archers were there. Yes. And then now and I then, do that. Boop, moving that over there. And then yep. the archers move over there. And um, I'll count myself happy with that. I get okay. another unit, technically. The rest of the movement. The rest of the movement. Uh, shooting? A little bit closer. I do have a couple of... I'm, I have a redeploy and a surge. Oh, right. So, do. move. Yeah, Murder go lusting and stuff. Gotta hunt those guys down. But I could also, if I got lucky on a redeploy and surged in, maybe. Let's see how far away I am. I'm gonna redeploy my general here. I'll go down to two command points, and I'm gonna roll one. That's not gonna be enough. <laughs> he's like slowly <sighs> almost got on there. So he's gonna invoke the speed of murder <laughs> and <laughs> to, move three to inches. surge onto it. Ah, there we are. psych. So cost me a command point and my one blood type point. Charging times. Uh, you have two CP still, so you could counter charge. Oh no, I have to shoot. Uh, they're gonna shoot into that. Uh, yeah, that that Skull crusher there. Yeah, one, two, three, so six. Three is to hit. Three is to hit. <laughs> and four, is that rend one? Ooh, four, a rend one, nice. Three of saves. We take one damage. Also got four left. Uh, a oh, I should have, oh no, I shouldn't hmm? have rallied him. I was thinking, oh, I should have rallied him. I'm like, no, I shouldn't have. It'd be so unlikely to actually help. I should have rallied them if I was smart. Who's just gonna shoot them? Shoot. Two, oh no, because he's in combat with this. So oh, you have to shoot that. Same difference. But it missed on the one anyway. Yeah. Charges. Charges. Um, they're going to charge. They're five. Gonna, yep. Five. Good I'm enough. just going to hop into this guy. Might My axe. Well. New attack. The axe. Yep. Three's to hit. They give you bonuses when they charge? Nope. They used to have like the two options you'd pick. They have bonuses when they don't charge. I see. Okay. Yeah. Fours. Oh, that's oh, that was good. actually pretty good. That's a damn good roll. Uh, that's a very good roll. That's uh, 11 at rend one. Five up save on the axe. Goes to a six up. Goes to a six up. Warding, one of that. The axe is. Oh, I got it. Banished. Nice. And Glutos can go. I'm just going to go. Bloop, bloop. So Glutos is going to do three <laughs> attacks onto your big thing, right. five attacks onto the altar, and then the four attacks will go into your your altery thing. The, this thing, the blood. So that's the, blood. the bleeding icon? The, the icon. Altar. So four yeah. into the icon All right. as well. Okay, let's do them into the altar So first. these are the big weapons into the skull altar. So I hit on twos. I should remember this now. Twos. And, and hey, look at that. there you go. That actually helped. And then threes. Uh, two at rend one. Onto the altar. Altar passes one, fails one. Three damage. Right, he's got one wound left. And the bleeding icon. Three into the bleeding icon on twos. And on threes. That's uh, two at rend one. Five ups. I'll re-roll that. Yeah. That's uh, three damage. I'll keep that. I don't care about rolling anymore. It's <laughs> Six damage in total? It's dead. Hey, nice. look at that. He only, had, he only had two wounds left. Yeah. Does not does that one not have a ward, I guess? That was my ward save. Oh, okay, okay. No, you did. You fought twice. You didn't lose anything. All right, but I only get two points because you totally steal this. I did. I snagged it. And this is mine now. Boom. That gives you six victory points. Yeah, not not a terrible turn. Two for the battle tactic and yep. the battle tactic. I just I didn't even use these two either. Not this time. Not really great resource management, but whatever. Uh, I also had two command points left over. I could have rallied the warriors with on both player turns. I am at 14, plus that for 17, and you're currently at 12, 21. So we're doing pretty okay here. We're gonna roll off for priority. A boom! Okay. Three, again, you get another to hold tie. It. Uh, I mean, 
Well, I'm not gonna volunteer. If I voluntarily give it to you, you still get uh, to pick a battle tactic. I do. So I am just gonna roll with it. So you are only gonna take one euphoric buff, which means I get one six on a die roll, yep. which isn't bad. They're pretty, pretty, pretty hampered though with the spell. So they only move four and they only charge, they charge 2d6 and a half. Got to heal Glutos. I actually been forgetting to fight with my guy the whole time. While Cause I was now there. we're in a game, we're in game. Yeah, range. when you started fighting that, I should have been fighting back with the guy I forgot, but again, not really putting much merit into his attacks. My best bet for this hero phase is to just my so my battle tactic is simple. I'm going to take their land. I'm just going to control on a piece of objective. I'm going to a piece of terrain in Scarry's deployment zone for now, while I try and set up a battle tactic on the last turn, and try and just accumulate points on like the majority of the objectives. Yeah, well, you're going to get you have the one in my territory now, so that's like five points. It's going to make the game a lot closer now. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm. I'm not going to risk uh, doing blood sacrifice on my priest. Are you going to rally anymore. them? You didn't last time, and you were very sad. I am going to rally them this turn. I'll okay. do that in a second, though. We're going to cast a prayer on this guy, and I need more. I'm just going to summon the wrath axe again. Nice. Ooh, I get a three because I get plus one. Not enough for it, but he's got three for now. So I think it's four for the axe. They're all four. Then we're going to go ahead and do a prayer with our buddy over here. We're going to chant blood boil with him. Yep. Uh, yeah, we do. We get it. it's five. Uh, Four for Blood Boil. I'll choose a unit with an 18. That's just obstacle terrain. It's not obscuring. So I roll a die for every model in the unit. Every five of them take a mortal wound. It's no, not six of them. Uh, sorry, five of them. Because the Homunculus does a token. Yeah. Two, Two dead. Bam. Two. Bam. 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 Just something to do. Rally our Blood Warriors over there. Uh, just with rolling. one of your five yeah, command points. Uh, four command points left. Just roll nice. six dice. I need, essentially, if I'm lucky, I'll no get. No musician in there, four, though? No. Oh, I do. I get two guys back. There's a wounded guy in there, so the fifth one I so roll. So you can do all of them, which is nice. Yeah. So I heal a guy, and then I bring two models back with the five four ups I rolled. Adam, just over on this side Six here. Six of them. We are going to try to bring some of them. Well, we're just going to try and hold this area for now, I guess. They're back to full. Uh, are they? I think so. Oh, geez. Okay, that's, that's not bad. Good. Yeah, that's going to be. You know what? We're going to we're going to put them on this side because I think we're going to have to use them as a sacrificial piece later. But yeah, that'll be uh, it for my hero phase. If Makes you sense. would like to do, something. I will attempt uh, to counterspell or magical intervention. Magical intervention. My bleeding icon gone. The dreadful visage once again. It does not go oh, off. No, we don't get that. Okay. And then we can go to my movement phase, where I am going to. I'm going to move a few of these. We're going to move these skulls towards those archers. I'm going to go straight up towards the archers just to try and kill them, deny it. Right, right, like right, right. They're not great at fighting, but whatever, there's some. Yep. At the double, this mighty skull crusher, he's going up and around behind How the How far trees. does he go? Uh, he moves 14 inches with that. 14, so he's going to go this way. Try to get a battle tactic for later. We're going to do a battle tactic with him for later. Blood warriors are going to run. Right there, or two inches. We're going to go seven that way. They're going to go this way, but I realize you're not really tied up in combat with this piece of terrain here. Uh, maybe the guy inside of it, but I don't really want to figure that out. Uh, we're then going to have to send from the throne with him. Nice. So he just gets set up on the battlefield, not in combat with another unit. And um, within six of this, we're just going to have him set up over, over here, I guess. Nice. With his three wounds suffered and his three ritual points. And he can't do move abilities because he was set up on the battlefield. We're going to go the max away we can away from that terrain just because uh, who knows what nonsense is, is going to pull off. And then the other thing I'm going to do, the last couple of things I'll do is this Juggernaut Lord just going to move yep. just up here. That way you can just walk over to the objective for later if he needs to. Yep. For Or sorry, that battlefield edge over there. Makes sense. And then these guys are going to run. Um, they Do they have their run roll as well? Yes. Okay, so they move four plus uh, rounding. I think you round up or They actually have rules for rounding up or down. I can't remember. You it's round down. down. I think it's down, game, eh? Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be five inch move. We're gonna, we have to keep him near this piece of train here because that's the train I wanted to go for. So we'll stay near that, and then he's still able to run over there. No problem. This is the end of my movement. Glutos is going to use a CP to redeploy. Yeah. He's going to just mosey on up. Four, Four. inches. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Let's go. We're gonna go, right go, Glutos, go. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead right to charging. We're going to try and charge the archers. Mm -hmm. We roll a nine. Nice. Go is that one of them? They, it's a unit of two. Oh, it's a yeah. U. Oh, it's that's unit. why they're yeah. close together. Yeah. Okay. They have to be near. Okay, okay. Yeah. Is you the option to counter charge now? Plus Please. one because he's <laughs> awesome. Oh, God. The 10. <laughs> no! I just don't want to. I didn't want to have to take a thousand years to figure it out. <laughs> why? 
Uh, I actually, see. with that, actually, that's uh, that's actually good because I, I can concede now. Dick, 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 I don't dick, dick. have it in me, dude. Rah, I don't have it in me. Go, Glutos. Too much. Too much to consider. <laughs> At least do the five things. Nope. I want to see what nope. you can do. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. I on, deny Luka. you. I deny you any more satisfaction with this guy, dude. Uh, I hate him so no, much, dude. Luca, no, do no, it. it's over. I, I was like at a pretty big point deficit. Anyways, I would have needed two perfect turns. I can get my two battle tactics, and Scarry can still get two battle tactics himself. I had to hover near the middle to try to stop him from getting a, uh, what's it called, um, have tunes in the middle, but you could have taken... My land. So, on your so turn. the next one was going to be take land because yep. I'm OC eight. Yes, easy. And no then, problem, yeah. and then once I had dealt with them, it would be into the middle. Yeah, Hopefully take them. The last one. That's yeah. why I was keeping them around there, but I, I was too lazy to measure what the charge was because I wanted them just to stay around here. And I'm like, well, I want to make it so it's like a near impossible charge. I'm like, ah, I'm not going to do all the considerations. Probably not going to happen. Moves four, charges nine. Like, of course. <laughs> so, I would have needed to then if I could have. You know, took in the time, I'm sure it would have worked out better. But ultimately, in the end, my score for the next two turns would have been, hypothetically, that didn't go that way. I would have had five. I would have got max Seven. on this. I would have got, I only get six on those. Uh, that's oh, the problem. Is... You can only get six on the uh, objective. Okay. And on then the, I would have got my battle not factor. yours? Like, you it's, can... It's six in total. You, you add them all together. If you had all four, you only get six points still. Max is six. Correct. Okay. So then I would have got the battle tactic for ten, which would have been nice. Then I would have gotten ten. You probably would have gotten ten on your turn. For and the, then we'd priority for roll, two. and then we'd figure out what would And happen. then figure it out Because if I yeah. win the priority roll... Like, then I can't do a battle tactic, so I'd have to do math and probably, like, let you do the battle tactic. I would have had to, you would have probably, yeah, we would have had to look at the math there. Yeah. It would have looked like this at the end of turn four, probably. Yeah. If I spent a thousand minutes so trying to figure out how to stop from getting... you can get is ten, right? Ten no matter so what. So say you got a ten last turn. I did. Well, yeah, I would have. So, no, on the fifth turn. So oh, on the fifth turn, fifth, yeah, yeah. I would have gotten ten on the fifth yeah, turn. So yeah, so what is the total? So if I get ten there, I am at... 14, 24, sorry, 20, 34, 37 is my max. Okay, and so what am I at right now without a Without turn? your fifth turn, yeah. So yeah. I'm at 37, you're going to be at 16, 21, 20, sorry, 32. So I'll be at, yeah, you just had to get five points so I to get tie it. Six to win. Six to win. So I would literally just have to get this. So if yeah. I double turn, I could you just do this even, and this. You didn't even need that because you got two for here and your battle tactic. That's six. <laughs> no, no, but that, the, no, I'm saying I could have, I, if I... But if, say you went first. Right, yes. Then, but if I went first and I couldn't get a battle tactic. Yes. Then I could correct. still do it. Yes, of course. Because I would get six points. You could have taken the priority. Correct. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It had taken that one. And that would have been a one, one, ter one point win instead of a five point win. Mr. OC8 unkillable <laughs> monstrosity running around. Luckily, luckily, I only ever have to face him when we're playing against each other. So it's something Well, to you know, <laughs> I'm satisfied with seeing what the Heaton Knights do. I cannot wait to pull out the Sylvaneth. Ah, so Ilario then. <laughs> no, I don't. I rarely use Ilario. No, it's back to the day. Glucose was like the one. Ilario I used once or twice, Luca. Wow, Glutose is like, if you didn't take Glutose, the entire army just crumbled. Because oh. he's like the only tough thing in the army. It sounds like a poorly designed book if that's the case then. I agree with you. Oh, that's but not I, true. But I don't I believe like that it. at all. No, I, I agree that it, you know, having to take a big tough unit, like, right. don't get me wrong, I'm going to try stuff with no name characters. I'm going to yeah. do all of the mortal characters and we'll do like a bunch of different stuff. And maybe all cavalry or all chariots. Like, I'll try like a variety of like different lists. Right, yeah. But Glutose is awesome. Yeah. He's, I like the model. I hate his rules. It's, it's It comes out of jealousy. I obviously love big, tough units, right? Yeah. But I hate that they're on named characters. I've just <laughs> been playing a long time. Not Sigmar, but like the version. Sigmar in 40k, it's a named character game. That's all it is. So if you could take uh, Lord of Pain on a palanquin instead, and it's like a lesser character, yes, right? But maybe had like some cool little abilities or rules, made him tougher, yeah. you know, so that's, you could have like a little anchor. So that's how I try to like wrap my head around the like the frustration because I have to do it, right? I got got to play the game. Game's got named characters in it. People love named characters. They're great. Great models, easy to buy, great rules, and they really bring the army together, right? Yep. So I try to wrap my head around it like it's something that it's not like it's a named character. It's like just a unit that the army can bring, but they're only allowed to bring one of them. And it's and just like. And he has to be the general. And he has to be the general. And I'm like, that's not a named character. It's just the thing that that army has. It's like, B, it's just like a special kind of bloodthirster, right? I don't know. It's a stupid. It's, it's literally a stupid holdover of older versions of the game. Sure. It has no. No ground to it's stand on. It's like you kind of want a palanquin because it gives you all these aura buffs and right, he's yeah. tough, so he doesn't just die instantly. Yes, and you know what yeah, I mean? So, absolutely. Yeah, and he kind of heals things, so you can have like cool 
like heroes and stuff that heal around him or whatever. It was the uh, the it was like I was like the game was great, perfect game all around. It was like, awesome. Very, it was awesome. I, I down pre- to the wire. I pretty much lost right away when like the 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 perfect like redeploy counter charge to stop my thing in the middle, and then you also did ten damage. I'm like, please, I don't want to deal with not on any other turn but turn one. Please, I got to be here all day still, because I look at it, it's a game of math, right? So you do the thing. I'm like, okay, well you score ten, I score. What you didn't score? What you get? You got, got nine. nine. I got three. Yeah. So I'm six points down right away. And the games, no matter what, are super tight. You might as well just like it's a bad, bad attitude. You should always play it till the end. But man, just no, no, of course. Yeah. But at the same time, we went through it, and you know, if you get a ten, and then even if well, I just get a six, I mean, on like turn one, I'm like I'm down oh, by six right, points, right, right, I might as well concede. But it was yeah. a very close game. Like at any point, I was like, I was an uphill battle. Uh, but at every any point, you could have flipped yeah. it though. Yeah. And then I it, did, I did flip you did. it. You it wasn't it. enough. It was very close. <laughs> it was very, very close. It was, it was close. It was till close. the end, <sighs> sort of, kind of. It was more like. Normally, I'd be like, I'd be like a big baby, I'm like ah, there's no point in playing any more math. I'm like the math, math says I lose, right? But we're doing it for you, folks. We do it for, and I want to, I want to see how the blades of corn played for the Actually, next part Actually, yeah. I really like that. That meteor is. Meteors, well, if the meteor's cool, the extra attacks are cool. That's eight dice attacks. on threes just to do mortals. That's like it's only four blood tithe points too. You just do a backup. You can do it your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn. Yeah. What? It's pretty nasty. So you you're kind of incentivized to bring like little units to die. That's corn. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You definitely want lots of that stuff. You want like the the cheaper, the more numerous, the better. One of the cheap. Well, like whatever whatever you can. This really you know is with. awesome though. Yeah, one of them is good. I would definitely consider like swapping out. I like the Mighty Skull Crushers. They had great, they're two up save, good fighters, whatever. If they yeah. charge, they charge. If they don't, they're still good fighting. Uh, the Wrathmongers, I don't love that they have to, okay, I don't love that they have to be in combat and only have a five up save. That's not great. So I would probably drop one of them, bring something else instead. Maybe. But like in a key spot, like when one survives. I would never want to not have the option. Right, for but it, when absolutely. one survives and then it's your turn next and you can go banner, plus one attack for these yep. guys. I got eight blood tide points, so it's plus one attack army yep. wide for the rest of the game. It worked out like really well, yeah. I, I, liked, I liked to see that the army list still worked. Uh, disappointed about the lack of summoning. My favorite thing about the chaos cult factions being like in general, Hedonites, Nurgle, Magikin, all that stuff yeah. was the summoning, and it's all kind of axed right now. Not fully, because you have like examples of like instead of doing one attack on everything, if I had a bloodthirster on my list, I could just summon a bloodthirster again. But it's more like I like summoning like little pockets of blood letters everywhere, little things of Nurgle. Well, it's cool to have a collection like a yeah. sideboard, being like, what do I? Need? I loved that. You that know, was what my do favorite I need thing. right yeah, now? Yeah, I need this, and then you'd summon in more fiends, or you'd summon in blood, uh, you know, demonettes. It was kind, it was good. It's like you know, you have all these options, right? It gives you. It was kind of cool. Like the idea was that you're just attracting demons to the battlefield, and it, was, it felt good. And I'm gonna, I'm sure a lot of people aren't gonna miss it, but I'm sure the chaos players are definitely gonna miss it. I do miss it. I yeah. miss like having a ton of depravity points and then spending them as a resource. Like the mechanic is a lot simpler, being like, oh, these one to three units or whatever are better for a turn. But then you were able to use those sixes sneakily. So, you know, it was, and you yeah. didn't take any damage from that. No, there was, it was good too. There was a couple there at the end I would have wished I used, but it wasn't too big of a deal there. But you know what? It's, it's a great part to have in your army. Uh, I do like to see it, love the model. I'd hate to not have it there. I just wish it was a little bit easier to deal with. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna have a post game chat. That's for our YouTube and our vault members. Yep. I want to talk about in that chat things of like summoning, Yep. Uh, like we were obviously missing a main element of army. So we'll talk edition. about that in the post game. It'll be all the summoning, yeah. Yep. And we'll catch you there. That's for our YouTube and our vault members. They pay, they support the channel. They allow us to make all this free content that you guys see on YouTube and the likes of it. Anyways, there will be much more Age of Sigmar to come. I got a lot of other armies I have to try out. Well, Same. eagerly have to try I'm out. excited. Yeah. I want to do all of the I stuff, am, yeah. I am loving this new edition. Is they, all these new rules, the way they work, it feels like it did before, easier to resolve. Got a, kind of feels like yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that later, but it's back yeah. and forth. Other than that, thanks all for watching, everybody. We'll catch you on the next video. Boom. And happy wargaming. Yes, happy wargaming.